morning. Day, afternoon. Same evening. difference. It's all the same. Yes. It's midday. We can say midday. You'll find out. You'll know. Yes. Soon. Eventually. There's, there's a clock right above your head. It's just not on camera. You're on candid camera. No. It's June 1st! Woo! We made it through another month. <laughs> we did. I don't know if that's cause for celebration. I don't know. We should do it. We made money last month. We're always making money. We're making more and more every day. I know. Is I think it? we've made three cents today. Oh, no, we gotta, we gotta remedy that. We gotta remedy that real quick. <laughs> Start clicking, guys. Either way, just as, you know, us babbling, Yes. we've almost paid for our URL for the year. Really? And How much is our URL for like the year? Like eight bucks a year. Done. So Dude. in another, like, 40 cents is paid. Here's some 40... Oh, I've got money. <laughs> <laughs> so Just Keep throwing your pennies at us, guys. <laughs> yeah. We like pennies. I'm okay with pennies. They add up. They, they've got a jar of them. Yeah. They've got a jar and some. So, like I said, when they we were our first penny, that's more pennies than we'd ever thought we'd make. <laughs> Moving up in the world. <laughs> yes. Who knew? Uh, Advertising works. Anywho, what are, you, is... what are you playing, Tony? Um, trying to finish Deus Ex. <laughs> There's just so much things to do in life and games. I'm, just, I'm really liking it. I, I think I will get the DLC, but yeah. I can see where the fault of... You finish the game and that's kind of it. It really is kind of it. So Have like, you faced the th third boss yet? Um, no. Okay. Has, it, has your, like, um, have your implants glitched out yet? Yes, is that an option to, like, I can finish the game without having the option? Like, you can the, not get it fixed or you can go get it Okay, is that, fixed. is that detrimental to, or, like, is that, like, Im imperative do, do for that Do you want to know what ha do you want to know I, which I, way you should go? I feel as if I took the wrong route already. Did you get it fixed? Yes. Yeah, you're screwed for the third boss. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It makes him more, it makes him more difficult to beat. That's, that's it. okay, I have, like... 20 typhoon rounds so yeah but i think part of it like it shuts down most of your stuff that's nice come that boss fight so that's nice yeah because that's what i did too i'm like oh no my stuff's glitching out and it's like oh yeah we can totally fix that and i'm like okay that sounds like a great idea i'm subservient like a puppy <laughs> i totally am because i didn't think anything of it i didn't think of it either. then i realized this game is all about conspiracies yep Oh shit! And once it happens, you're totally yeah. like, oh, oh, because they make it, a, they make it a point to show you that you have got this implant. Oh yeah, it's like it's, its own little cutscene. Yeah, they make sure that it's like uh, you're like, screwed. Oh yeah, as soon as I did it, I'm like, oh wait, this have, is gonna bite me in the butt. <laughs> shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so that sounds like it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it'll make your third boss fight a little harder. Still completely doable. Just I have typhoon rounds. Yeah, so I've got thirty of them, dude. I've maxed it out. No, not 30. I've got 20 of them. So. I've maxed them all out. So. And my pistol? It's a new pistol. So. We'll figure. I'll just, we'll You'll see. Just, and again, if the boss see. fights would have actually been done, mm -hmm. done properly. And, and that's kind of, that's why I want the DLC. Yeah. Because it's all Eidos. Right, which would be. It's all Eidos. Really all, Like, I, I hope they make another Deus Ex game. They will. It took a long time for the third one to come out. It did, and but I'm hoping they make another one, and they do all the work. I want I want it to be like an online game too. That'd yeah. be different. Um, remember Operation Snowblind? Probably not. It's an old, old, old PS2 Xbox game. I've Operation. Heard I've heard of it. I know the name. Mm -hmm. Well, the IDOS was after Invisible War. They started playing around with their uh, engine, trying to make it multiplayer, mm -hmm. and said, hmm, "What? What?" What would Deus Ex be like if it was multiplayer? So they started going that route. Yep. And then it just didn't work. But they didn't want to put that project away, so all it the turned research... Into something else. It turned into Operation Snowblind. Cool. So, a bit of random trivia for you. Yes, it's, it's loosely based off of the Deus Ex universe. Hmm. So. Um, yeah, I've been playing that. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. It, the 3D one is coming out soon. It is. I, I was doing... So you're catching up. I was, I was doing inventory on the Kingdom Hearts games that I have not played. And yeah. then reading about Kingdom Hearts Coded actually makes me want, made me want to get it. There you go. So and I picked that up soon, a couple of days ago. And um, I'm really liking it, even though it, it's very loosely <laughs> set in the universe of Kingdom Hearts. Yes. It's, it's like a blip in the radar of what actually happens. So I'm actually really liking it. So 
I'm really surprised how well it made a conversion from phone game to DS game. They did a good job with the D both DS games, I think. They did a pretty good oh, job. Oh, oh. Well, the thing is with um, RE Coded is yeah. that in Japan, it came out in, as episodic content yeah. for, for their weird Dogomo phones. Yeah. So that's why it's kind of kind of janky at points where it's, there, I know, it feels like a, a 2D game even though it's shoehorned into a 3D game. Yeah. Uh, which uh, I think still by far three, five, eight over two days. Some yeah, weird, whatever that one. Some was, weird yeah. number. Uh, that one's so good. Yeah, that one's, that one's outstanding. Like I said, they're both really good. That's why I'm looking forward to the one on the the 3DS because the Dream Drop Distance. Yeah, they'll actually have some yeah. juice behind it. Yes, and I'm more, actually more looking forward to the story just because. <laughs> face it, they're never gonna make Kingdom Hearts three. <laughs> <laughs> One day. It's, it's, it's in my dream list of games. Yes. Of, of things that will eventually come out. Yeah, one, one day we'll have it. Kingdom Hearts 3. Yep. After the HD collection comes out. Yeah, so. for people who, like you who need to catch up on yeah. 1 and 2. Who actually have, want to play them instead of just reading the wikis on them. <laughs> That'd be super. Birth by Sleep was really good too on the PSP, which I think is the rumor in that Kingdom Hearts HD collection. I think so. I think that's that. one of the ones that's supposed to be in it. But yeah, it was. It's more than just one and two. It was yeah, it's it's Enchanted Memories, I think. Yeah, which uh, another fantastic one as well. Yeah, that was the first handheld Kingdom Hearts game. Which they've done a good job with that series. Yeah, yeah, like it's one of the when it first came out, people were not expecting what they did with it. No, totally because it's not. like here's Squall or in Cloud fighting next to Mickey and, and Goofy, Goofy and Donald. Yeah, it's the weirdest combination ever. And and it succeeded. Yeah, the one thing Square's done right in the last. Ever? Yeah, ten years. <laughs> this Kingdom Hearts, because even the low, like even the lowest rated game is still rated at, rated at like seventy percent or so. Oh yeah. Which is coded, I think. So. Yeah. Uh, who can want more Kingdom Hearts? That's a great series. Well, it's coming out soon. You'll yeah, have, you'll next have, month. You'll next have month. more soon. Next month. About the time I'm done this one. It's... Yeah. How long is it? Did you finish it? I didn't finish it. Okay. Because I think it's got some length in it. No, I don't finish a lot of things. Which is why I just, I, I need to buckle down with these. I really people. do this this summer. I need to buckle down, finish, finish stuff. stuff. I stopped finish Catherine. Friggin I hate that I boss. I finished that game. I hate that boss so much. Thank God I finished that I game. I hate that boss like so much. No, there's a, so, a I got to actually mm -hmm. like take my games out of their like my bookshelf kind of thing mm -hmm. and go, okay, done it, done it, done it, done it, not, done it, done it, done it, not, done it, not, not, or like, not, done it, done you it, do what I do. Like I have that little like stock stack in front of my TV. And there's some games that I just don't have the motivation to finish. And I know how the game's gonna end. Yeah. Just put it on the shelf. Like Resistance Three. Everyone knows how it's gonna end. So. <laughs> With another game. Yeah. 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 Cliffhanger <laughs> ending. Cliffhanger ending. So I've been playing that one, Kingdom Hearts, re coded. Bum, bum, bum. And a new game, which is not new, but it is new, is Zora's Wrath. That one game that's. Hey, you laugh at it. It's awesome. It's. It's, you play, it's pretty much God of War. Okay. But with Dragon Ball Z. In. So, you start the game off as this one of the eight deities, not eight deities, one of the eight um, demigod generals okay. of the universe. And your goal, or your task, along with the other generals, you play Azura. Obviously. I would hope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, you play this, whatever. Uh, you, Azura, your goal is to wipe out the Goma Wrath of like this sort of alien plague of the universe and you're doing a pretty good job of it until you get framed by the other seven bum, bum, other seven bum, bum. generals and get sent down, cast down to earth for 12,000 years as they start calling themselves deities along the way hmm. uh, the game is completely off the hook it's, it's God of War if a Japanese developer made it no, oh, well then. It's it's outsta it's outstanding. It looks great. It looks like a comic book, really. The the art style of it. it you've seen pictures yep. of it, right? It's really fast paced. It's really high octane. I really really dig it. it I think it's super short though, because I played like two hours and it said showed completion at twenty five percent or twenty eight percent, which is good because I didn't pay a single penny for it. <laughs> That's not. It's at twenty five percent. Then you got another what? Yeah. Six hours to go. What, That's not what, too bad. What really sets the game apart, though, is the way it separates its chapters. Yep. Each chapter is sort of like an episode on a TV show. Oh. Literally. So you start 
like the first bit of the chapter episode yeah. is and this time in Azura's Wrath and it shows you like snippets of what's going to happen in the chapter and then that ha and then you play the chapter yep and then at the end of it it goes to be continued and it and shows it shows, and shows, the, shows the like a preview for the next episode yeah and then you go on from there it's so it's it's a game like that before too it's very it it looks really good that way because it it gives you a good place to stop really it yeah. breaks up the action really well because if it, if all that game was just back and forth, back and forth, you know, God of War style, beating up everyone you see, it would get dull. Is well, that, and you'd never be able to go to bed. Yeah, yeah, it's like you just, oh man, I gotta fight that guy now. I gotta fight that guy now. Yeah. Oh, wait, stop what you're doing. This is what just happened. This is what's going to happen. Do you want to continue? <laughs> no, it's time for sleepy. Yeah. This is what happened. <laughs> Tony getting sleepy now. Bye. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, even still, I would highly recommend it. It's just a absolute gem. I know it's time I always stop playing a video game when my character starts drifting to the right. Because that means I'm falling asleep. <laughs> and my character's just like going, I'm like, follow that guy. So I'm like, follow him. And all of a sudden it's like, and I go down a different alley. This is, and it's not, like, this is not like Desert Quest, though. Yeah, no. <laughs> and all of a sudden it's like, I start drifting, I go down a completely different road. I'm like, where am I? It's, it's, and then, yeah, I kind of wake up a bit and I go, where'd the guy go? <laughs> oh. No, it's a game over because you died. Or, yeah, it'll, it'll like, restart the, the you fall off mission. The cause, yeah, it, or it'll restart the mission because, like, the person got too far away. And I'm like, but I was right behind them. I could then... have fallen asleep more than, oh, yeah. a couple hours. <laughs> Your guy's just standing there for, like, an hour and a half. <laughs> it's, it's a good game. I seriously recommend anyone. Okay, so Azura's Wrath. Mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, Deus Ex, you've been busy. A little bit. What else you got? Um, I plugged in a little bit of Child of Eden. Okay. And got that going. Didn't Just kind of watch the story. There's a story in that game, guys. It, it looks, it, it's by the guy, it's by Q Entertainment. And these are the guys that are masterminding the Luminaires. Yes. And the, oh, they did one more music-based game. I can't remember what it was. It was Luminaires and... I want to say the original Elite Beat Agents, I don't remember. which is, uh, no, Q Entertainment. It's a Japanese music-based company. Yes. I think they do the guitar games, the, the original guitar games. Okay. I think that's what they did. But it's a music-based shooter where you use your controller to shoot lasers and with the rhythm of the beat. And if you have the move, you can point at your controller at them and do that. Um, but I've not enough to say I've played it. <laughs> yeah. I put it in to install it. That's, Yay! that's pretty much what I did. Yeah, that's all you need. Um, keep in mind, another game I paid zero bucks for. <laughs> yay, yay. Um, I was really tempted to get, it was, um, for Ustar 2, mm -hmm. this is what the game will be playing next week for funs and sneeze. Mm -hmm. It was either that, or the Michael Jackson game. No, no. Or the Grease game. There's a Grease dancing game on the Xbox and PlayStation. They movie. barely dance in Grease. It's you dance in it. So, of those three games, of those three games, which one would you... Whatever, yeah, whatever the whatever you got, the which scene, is... scene star. Or... You star 2. You star 2. It is a fan, it's a game. For our next bottom of the barrel. No, or... no, 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 not bottom of the barrel. Dude, it's got 300 in it. And Wizard of Oz. I'm still going with bottom of the barrel. This is a game where you reenact scenes from movies, guys. How we're, awesome is it? We're going to be so awesome in this. Bring your props, guy. You, sunglasses. I'll bring some airsoft guns for the Terminator sequences. Um, they don't just put the gun in our hand? No. Damn. No. No, you gotta be in the moment. Don't you remember? From drama or anything? You gotta be in it. There's gotta be a list of moves in here somewhere. I don't know. I just don't know. I just picked it up off the shelf. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna do this. So. Uh, so you look for that. It's gonna be awesome. I'm not. I'm not sure if it'll be a bottom of the barrel. But I'm there actually will be, looking forward to this. There game. will be recordings of us playing, playing this game. Star Trek. Do you remember Kick Ass? Yeah. Yeah, that's in here. <laughs> yeah, there there will be clips of us playing this game, um, and depending on how much more time we have, we have other games that we can throw into. So. I'll bring Child of Eden, an actual game. So. No, I was thinking for an actual bottom of the barrel, we could film an hour or do something. So do something dumb. We could do Assassin's Creed. It's not that bad. I have worse games. That Demon Soul game, or not Demon Soul, we Demon just, Forge. There's probably a couple you can pull.
pull off of PlayStation Plus. There's a bunch you can pull off PlayStation. Yeah, there's Plus. some bad ones on there. No, but I literally bought that. What was that one? Demon Forge. Demon. Hunted Demon Hunted. Forge. Whatever. Yeah, I got that one, and it's co-op. Oh boy. Yay! Why? Bottom of the barrel, five bucks. I don't want to be. In five bucks. No. Five bucks. Co-op. Hmm. We could just go to the library and find something absolutely awesome. Well, now that we know that. <laughs> we just it, bottom of the barrels up a wazoo. <laughs> Enough of what I've been doing. What have you been playing? Are you been busy too? Have you been busying? A few games. A now few. that I think about it, I have mm -hmm. to keep thinking about it because I'm gonna run down sometimes. Because work, I've been working. So we both been working. Yes. That's why. Is work a my game? brain, my brain, my sometimes. Is work a game? Uh, one of the girls at work suggested we play um, one of the Bratz games for the PS2. Fuck no. Apparently they're awesome. And she, she's this like, is, this is this is coming from a girl, right? Who plays COD? Mm. She's like, I game. And she's like, for one of your. No. Like one no. of your bad. Like, no. I'm, I'm just saying. No. Well, especially if Do you have a PS2. If you can get it free, you have a PS2. Yeah, but are you gonna want to hook up? Are you gonna go? go you can rent PS2 games. You can borrow PS2 games from the library. That's what I mean. <laughs> we'll see if we can find it. Either we, way, we should do Michael Jackson. No, I can't dance. So can't I. Especially not like him. <laughs> it's not making the sounds. You actually have to like. Sure it is. No. <laughs> um. <clears throat> let's see. What have you uh, been doing? What have you been doing? I started this week with stacking. Yeah. Because I bought the Double Fine... Um, Humble Bundle? No. Oh. I bought the Double Fine Steam sale package thing. Oh, you, you, didn't you get it on PlayStation Plus? No. It's free. Oh. Stacking? Oh, my, oh maybe it was just for that couple months. Then. Yeah, it was just, just for a bit. Because I've had Plus since ever, and I've yeah. done almost all of the games. Um, that's a good game. It's a fun game. So it's, I, it's, I got, a, it's a Tim Schafer game. Yes. Um, and for like an indie game, it's quite cute, mm -hmm. and it's there's a, there's a lot of things in it for an indie game. I and that's, uh, that's I won't I I qualify it as an indie game. There's a lot of it. It still is. It's so. It, it seems like the production value is really high. It, it seems like it, but then you, if you kind of look at it deep, they've covered like they've painted over it really well. Because essentially, it's get your dude from point A to point B, solve puzzle, mm -hmm. level over. Like, it's pretty zip zam boom 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 And the world itself is really plain, except for the fact mm -hmm. that they've kind of got that um, blur effect going. I hate that in video games. It's just, it's just, it's very distracting unless they're in an action game. But it works well with this game, just like it makes everything just kind of look a little bit more old-timey. Which Does means they don't have to... It has a filter over the screen, doesn't it? It's kind it's of... It's like a weird, like, burnt... And there's a bit, a bit of a sepia tone going sepia. over top of yeah. It's so it's it's got like I said, it's kind of been mm -hmm. painted over, so it looks really good. But mm -hmm. underneath all that, a really simple game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. So stacking was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, I started Psychonauts, but because that came in that package, uh, and then like three mm -hmm. days later on the humble bundle, I'm like, it's such a good, it's such a good package. But I'm buying it just for the soundtracks. I have like all. Those I'm, I'm only. I only want to play um, sorcery, I think. Yeah, but sorcery then sorcery's... and amnesia, like I said. Yeah, um, because I, mean, I want to see amnesia. How, what, uh... Amnesia's fun. It's actually a really good game, but because you can, you don't, because I already have Bastion, and that's the one you get if you pay above the average. Right, right so you don't have to pay above the average. I already yeah. own Bastion on, yeah. on Google. Yeah. So you don't have to. So, and I was just, uh, I wish they'd give you individual codes for all the games. Yeah, because I just want those two. Because then I would just give them to people. <laughs> Like, own it, played, own it, own it, own it, own it. Have you played Psychonauts here? here. Yeah, exactly. Why have you not played Psychonauts, dude? So, I started Psychonauts really quick, and, but I had to go somewhere, so I shut that. I think I have to go to work, so I shut that off. Um, then I bought Super Mario Tennis Open, or Mario Tennis Open for my mm -hmm. 3DS. It's average. Because I enjoyed the past handheld versions of the game. I can't say the same. Um, and I, I mean, I like tennis, I like Mario Tennis games, because they're like all the Mario sports games. They're... They're the sport, but with the wonkiness to it. Like, there's special, like, moves you can do. Yeah, like, I remember the first one that really, the first Mario sports game that really took advantage of that was the soccer one. Yeah. The, what do they call it? Uh, Super, Super Strikers or yeah. something like that. because yeah. you could set your ball on fire. Or... Uh, that game just got, that game was literally just meant to be crazy. Yeah. Um, that's when that started all. I mean, there's always Mario, baseball? 
Was that Super Sluggers was a newer one. Yeah. I think it started with golf and tennis. Because mm-hmm. those games are easy to... Oh, that's what they should bring back this year. That's why I, I still put... I should put all my predictions. Mario Mario Tennis. Or Mario Golf. golf. Mario Golf. Bring that back. See, and I again... Love Mario Golf. Camelot on the Game Boy Color, when they made... And the Game Boy Advance, when they made those games, they were RPGs. Camelot's really good with their RPGs. That's all they kind of do. With... So it's RPGs with a tennis game built in. Mm. So it's all... You, you know, you walk around a clubhouse, and it's like, I challenge you... It was literally like a... And, well, you'll see next week in the review, but it was kind of like Pokemon. You'd walk mm-hmm. up to people and challenge them to a tennis match mm-hmm. and play tennis. And then you'd keep going and going until you hit one of the club champions, and then you'd fight face like them. Like a Pokemon game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that was fun. And so even mm-hmm. though it's still, you know, play three rounds against normal people and then another round against someone hard, it added a little story element that kind of made you go, ooh, this is so much fun and different than, you know, other sports games. Mm-hmm. Well, this one, they've literally gone the route of the console ones, where here's your tournaments, your exhibition you think games, it's... some mini-games, and online play. Do you think it's because they, a lot of people are just wanting that console experience again? I think Cause that's what Nintendo it feels... that's... fell into that whole thing where they want, like, well, all the video game companies, where it's like, people want things now. Yeah. They don't want to have to, like, take their little character, walk over to a guy, and talk to him anymore. They just want to be able to, like, talk to the guy. Yeah. And I'm like, but... Because I literally beat that game in... Mario Tennis? A, yeah, a day. Oh, wow. That done. Done. You found, like, the optimal, like, way to... I got... Well, because... Yeah, yeah. Well, no, because when you get... When you beat match, every match you beat, you get an article of clothing unlocked in the store in the game. Mm. So it's the only thing that can keep you going is unlocking all the stuff. P- potential for DLC? Tons, because there actually is already DLC. So. Oh, boy. But it's free. Um, so, but it's literally like, um, you know, like I had a, I had a chain, ch- chain chomp shirt with Yoshi shoes and like Yoshi wristbands and a, I think a thwomp racket. Right. So every time I smashed that ball went 800 miles an hour and disappeared. Mm-hmm. So I had a few challenging matches later on in the game, but still not enough to keep me like, oh my God. So, um, and then I went online and got my ass stomped by this guy in a Mario costume. Duh. And I'm like... Do you play a generic character or are you... Do you play your me. Oh. Which is why I thought the RPG element works so well in that game. Huh. Because, like, all the characters are built already, right? Mm. Like, take people out of your we your me plaza, mm-hmm. stick them in as the generic NPCs. That would be awesome. And then every time you connected online, if those players were playing... Yeah their stats would be updated. Yeah, so, but that's what I mean. So, like, there's so much potential for, like, the RPG element, and... Well, they've been well, they've been working on this game for a long time, though. I don't know. Like, they, were na- they announced it last year, almost. Yeah, well... So, and I don't know what they've been doing, because... Making Golden Sun DS, I guess? And yeah, they just kind of stopped again? making tennis, and then what they remembered, it, what like... Is, what is that game, or what is that one on the 3DS? I don't remember. I want to play that one now. Either way. Um, so... Yeah, so that's... It's, a, that's it's, a, it's falls fun. Short. It falls short. Yes. It's fun, but it falls short, so 40 bucks mm-hmm. is expensive for it. Oof, that's, um, that's a lot of money is for it. Well, it's a 3DS game. Yeah. Um, it's like it's a good road trip game, because you can pick it up, you can play around, put it down. My only other problem is is to get the coins to buy the things in the store, you have to play the dumb mini games. Do you have, do you have to do with the play coin thing, too, where you shake your 3DS? No. Okay, that's... No, that's those, awesome. those, aren't in, those aren't involved in the game. That surprises it's uh, yeah, it kind of surprised me too. But it's literally like you go into the mini game and you have to hit the ball through so many rings and get five hundred points in three minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you play for three minutes and I get four hundred coins for the store. But I hate doing that. Like I just want to play tennis. But if I just play tennis, is there I no quick is, match mode? There's exhibition modes. Oh. Except you kind of feel gypped, I guess. Like I wish mm-hmm. there was a harder tournament mode now. Because it's like, it's like Mario Kart where you go through the first four mm-hmm. and then they unlock the second tier and that's it. So I'm kind of sitting there going, I'd like one more tier where stuff got harder. Oh well. But, because there's another level, like the computers go up to a higher difficulty level. Mm-hmm. So I can play them in exhibition matches and I'll actually have like fun playing against the computer. Because we'll rally back and forth for, you know, two minutes before anyone scores. Mm-hmm. But there's no mode for that in tournament mode. 
There's the clock. I'm a little behind. It's ahead on mine. It's ahead on yours too. Mm -hmm. Um, so yes, it's. It sounds bland, but not really at the same time. Yeah, because there's there's a really good game in there. It's just and and I started playing Assassin's Creed Revelations, which is Revelations. Revelations. Yes. Revelations. No, there's no typo. There's not. There's no typo. Not this time. There's just everything is called Revel Revelations these days. So someone's gonna have to get it right. Right. <laughs> Someone has to spell it properly. <laughs> um. It sounds like Assassin's Creed. It's Assassin's Creed, brother. It's a sa it's an expansion to Assassin's Creed 2. Yay! So something they could have sold on the internets. See, and I thought about it, and I'm like, okay, because you take the same gameplay elements. So right, yeah. like same game. You, you, it it you, doesn't change. Even with Assassin's Creed 3 coming out, it's not going to be too different. Your only difference with Assassin's Creed 3 is it's going to be no forest. building, no very foresty. Yeah. There's going to be less building, but more force. More nature. Yes. So kind of like... And the, hunting animals. Yeah, so like the Switch Probably kind of from... Two to three, I think is going to be greater. It will, and it'll be huge, but think of Metal Gear Solid 2 to Metal Gear Solid 3. Yes. Like more nature versus... That's good. I'm excited. Well, either way, I'm excited. I'm excited but for... What about, what about River Lightens? River Lightens? How's that? It, I, I, it is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, but set in the world of Assassin's Creed 1. That's great. Because you're actually in Middle East again. You're well, and you're you're in Constantinople or Istanbul, whichever you want to call it. Eh. You're in that you're in that space of time where people are calling like half the people call it Constantinople and the other people call it Istanbul, and then you just think of the song and then you just keep singing it. Um, Which song? Istanbul, Constantinople. Yeah, no. Okay. That's. I don't know. Anyways. Either way. E. Um, it sounds. Like, is it repetitive? It's not rep. It's because what's the what, what could be the most problem with this game is that I don't I don't know. That's, I mean, it's the same thing that you play this one for the story, because the story now is because everybody knows if you played Brotherhood spoilers if you haven't, but it's too late now. Um, stabby stabby. You stab Lucy at the end of your you you, you bitch. Yes. You cold hearted bitch. You you grab the the apple apple the apple and you stab her worst ending ever. And that's how it ends. So this one actually starts off, your mind is like fragmented like... Yeah, because you, you get mind fucked at yeah, the end of it. At like, it? at like, what was it, 16 or whatever? What? There was that other patient that like, remember he was giving you clues oh, throughout yeah. the yeah, yeah. Well, that's what happened to his mind. Mm -hmm. Well, they've managed to keep you alive and plug you into the Animus, but they have to reroute all this power so they can't actually monitor what you're doing inside the Animus. Oh, that's nice. So you can just kind of... So, but you end up in this kind of, like, core of the Animus, of the animus mm -hmm. and 16 is there. And he's like, hey, to put your mind back together, you have to pretty much go through and see all the memories that Ezio and Altair want you to see. Mm -hmm. So there's something else that they want you to see so desperately that, like, it, they're both trying to get into your mind. So you go through the thing... You start playing as Ezio in Constantinople. And eventually you'll play as Altair. And eventually you're supposed to be able to play as Altair. That's um, what the box says. I've seen Altair. Ezio's seen Altair. It's a really wicked cutscene, actually. Is it? Yeah. Oh, is it the same one from the trailer? Where he's going to get hanged and then yeah. he sees, yeah. Is it? Is that all CG or is it... It's all CG. Oh, it's not in engine. No. That would have been cool. No, it's all CG. And um, Desmond doesn't look like Desmond from the last game. Is it still... Is it still um, Nolan North? I don't know who's voicing him, but he looks like... He keeps... Switch he, it's like they can't decide whether to make him black or not. Oh, is he black now? Kind of. Oh. But oh. not quite. How could he have gotten a tan? He, he stayed indoors all of <laughs> Brotherhood. I know. <laughs> so, and like, I just... I was looking at him and I'm going, what the heck? He's got a tattoo going on. He's got a facial hair going. And Maybe it's just the animus thing, like... His image. Maybe it's, yes, maybe it's his animus image. Ezio looks, well, he's old now, but he doesn't look like Ezio at all. Well, that makes sense. That, and that um, doesn't surprise me. He still sounds like Ezio. It's his, like old, his voice hasn't aged at all. So it's like old snake, except old Ezio. Yeah. But he's still Ezio Alditore. He still talks like it is. He doesn't talk like old snake did? No. Uh, I'm not a snake. No. Um, so... 
But the, and, okay, so it's... they give you a hook blade. Which is your new weapon. That was the, the new thing. That was a terrible hook. Ah. Ha! Um, you can, um, like, there's clotheslines which you can never yeah. held down, which is cool. There's just not enough clotheslines. And I think the fact that you need to have the angle thing. Yeah, so you can't go up the clothesline. I'm looking for... There's probably going to be a gadget that, like, you shoot to the ground and then you can go from that. I don't know. That makes sense in my, um, mind, in my mind. But you can assassinate off of those, which is really cool. Um, and the other addition to the game, because right off the bat, like in Brotherhood, they have you start building a Brotherhood in Constantinople. Mm -hmm. Um, and with that comes, like, these little dens, and you actually put your assassins that you've trained in charge of dens. Mm -hmm. And so they can become master assassins, and yada, yada, yada. Sounds like the RPG element. And they protect really your dens. But, if you leave dens without people in them, they can get attacked by the Templars. And then you have to play a tower defense game to stop the Templars from taking over your den. How how mandatory are these? They're the first one's mandatory. Okay. The the rest of them apparently aren't. As long as you can protect them properly, right? I don't know. I on it like I'm not sure if I just like left one getting attacked if it would just disappear from my thing, or if I could just not touch it and ignore the whole You just don't get the achievement. Protect all of the dens. Oh well. So it sounds I, the story's good so far, and like when you're in the core of the animus, you can actually hear them talking outside your body. Uh huh. So you can actually hear them having conversations outside your body. Like, so that's like, how's the first person puzzle stuff? Uh, that I wanted to kill. Really? Because yeah. it actually looks different. It's useless. It's useless. Like yeah. you just put blocks in front of you. And you walk. Yeah. Essentially, what they should have done is taken like a mirror's en edge engine and done that, but it's literally like you have a jump button, and then you get to that part with the blocks, and it's like, block, block, and then I re re reach a part, and it's like, oh, I actually have to just, like, jump down, so this should be kind of tricky, because I gotta, like, you know, jump and then drop a block and keep walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can, you literally, I walked off the edge, I hit the button, and I just kept walking forward. Like, there's no challenge to them whatsoever. That sounds kind of different. That's and they're, like, it's, it's not fun, it's just a white, black, gray room. Well, from what I've seen, so from what I've seen is that they're trying to put a lot of emphasis on the emphasis on the Desma part of the backstory too, isn't it? It's, it's where, Not where, so far. Where it's like, blah 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 as a kid, and then blah blah. blah, blah. There's there's part yeah, yeah in the, like, those first person parts you do get a sense of like he lived with a bunch of nomad type people, mm -hmm. and they were on the run because he was an assassin from birth. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm really surprised they dragged he just that story. He just never understood exactly who was after him this, his entire life. I'm really surprised they dragged that on so long. I'm surprised, and I'm honestly surprised because in the first game they mentioned that he was an assassin, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Yeah, what up? What of it?" But he's a bartender, like. Yeah. He, oh, I thought I thought he was a messenger. No, he's like a oh. he was a bartender, so he never actually like was an assassin. Yeah. But he was totally owning up to the fact that he was, and it's like. What does assassin actually mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Because that's what I thought. Like, I thought he was, like, an assassin by night and a bartender by later night. Well, they, they took a weird angle with the story. Yeah. And, and then they just kind of forgot the fact that, that he came from somewhere. Well, I, I just don't think they were expecting to make any more past the first one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of... It's like how all these games come about. It's like Kingdom Hearts yeah. and Assassin's Creed 1. Um... You can definitely tell that this game was, like, a yearly release type thing. And that's my issue with the yearly release. Right. Is it, uh, and and yeah. I, I was going to give them credit for building Constantinople, but they're using all the same buildings from the first Assassin's Creed game. Well, that's dumb. Just, are they even, just up or? Yeah. Like, I mean, it's prettier, but you literally, you're, in, you end up as Ezio inside the, um, Assassin's Temple from Assassin's Creed 1. Because mm -hmm. that's literally right around Constantinople. Right. So you go from there, and then you take a little horse trip, and you get to a place, and you're in you're in the Middle East. You're in the between you're between Asia and Europe. Mm -hmm. In Con that's where Constantinople is for those of you that don't know. So it's there's literally, still never going to be an Asian flavored Assassin's Creed. No, and that's, that's I'm sitting there so going dumb. that'd be great, except you're in this Middle Eastern part of you're in the Middle Eastern part of Asia, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it has that motif to it, and I'm going. Oh, well, at least they, you know, had to build a whole city. 
wait a second, they had all these buildings already. That was the first Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> annual, guess, annual Assassin's Creed. So, that's what pissed me off. Is that they charge looking, 60 bucks for I'm it. I'm still not looking forward to playing it, though. That's, that's why, for 20 bucks, great game. Mm -hmm. For $60, most expensive expansion pack ever. Or No, 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 $60. That was for the standard game. Oh yes, there's, there's the collectors. The, and then the Animus edition. And they then always Animus, have those collectors. And then Animus edition. Plus edition. And then the so. for those diehard Assassin's Creed fans who are getting tired of Call of Duty. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Don't do you can't don't you can't deny it. Oh yeah, it's people who loved Call of Duty want something else and they're like, Man, this Assassin's Creed game is just so amazing. I'm like and then my response is, No, it's not. And like it's I said, a for good the game, for the story, it's a like the story's getting better in this one. Mm-hmm. And obviously it will lead into... I hated the story in Brotherhood. I didn't mind the story in it Brotherhood. It was so one... It was so two-dimensional, it just... Well, once again, you have one year to... Yeah, but... Game every year, that's what you get. It was so bland. I just... I didn't feel any connection... Because I finished Brotherhood. I just didn't feel any connection to Ezio anymore. Like, in his cause. I didn't... I f well, like... see, and in this game, Ezio has spent ten months at sea, and he's searching for yeah. Altair's treasures, or his, like, there's a vault that Altair built. Yeah, because there's more than just the, the, the Apple of Eden. Yes. There's other artifacts, too. But, so Ezio's, like, on the hunt for this, like, door, and he found the door, but now it needs five keys. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, it's you end up in... Well, but then you end up in, um like, in Constantinople, and there's an Assassin's Guild that finds you, like, that. Well, that doesn't surprise me. It's like, like this oh. guy, this, you literally get off the boat, and this guy comes up going, are you actually him, like, Ezio? And it's like, dude, you're like, whoa! You're, you're like, famous! Pretty much. And then this guy has to show you the ropes on how to be an Assassin. Just like the real Altair. Yeah. He just forgets everything all the time. Yeah. Bunk! Oh, how do I climb walls again? Sink. Yeah. What's this... Yeah, <laughs> what does this do? This is kind of neat. Well, they give you the perfect excuse to get a hook blade, too, because your um, blade breaks. Oh, of course it does. Yeah. That's how Although, works. I still don't know how you quite really stab people with the hook blade. It's more of a hook, isn't it? Yeah. It's so, like, like the, the, hook. the animated... But you can still, like... Oh, through them? Yeah. Oh, so that's that's a lot. That's a, not really... So I'm not sure if there's, like, maybe there's a tip at the end? I don't no, know. No, there's not. But either way, because... I thought that going because they're most of the kills. Mm -hmm. the, the the kills have gotten nicer though. Yeah, but the kills like, have gotten really nice. Though. Well, because they keep just compiling them. Yeah. So it's not like they ditch the old ones and bring new ones in. They bring new ones in yeah. and keep the old ones. So, and they they've done this weird slowdown thing now though, mm -hmm. and it bugs up every once in a while. You well so, maybe maybe it's on the play, Xbox and maybe on the PlayStation it might be better. I don't know, but mm -hmm. like but they do use the hook blade as like a you grab the guy pull him forward into this blade. Well, do so you, that looks wicked. Do you switch between that and the regular standard blade? I'm not sure if it's... I don't know. Because, of course, you don't really... When you so press the button when you're in, like, Animus in between level mode, it's a giant hook blade that comes out. And that's all you see. So you so get, like, this longer blade that pops out and then a shorter blade. So you're walking around like... Ah. That sounds really dumb. So I don't know how... And, but you can still jump off a roof and kill two guys. That sounds so dumb. So maybe, moment, maybe it's momentum. I don't like that. I don't know. Either way, the, the hook blade is fun. I will play about ten minutes of this game and get bored of it. And I'm hoping I get a second hook blade, because then climbing will take like five seconds. You're going to be like Spider-Man. Just climbing with your wrists. I'm looking... For, I'm, I'm surprised there's no, like, ejecting thing from the... There's a gun. Yeah, but like... Like a... What do you call those things? Like grappling gun. Can... Grappling gun. Oh. Yeah, I'm really surprised they didn't, you know, take advantage of that. It is active. Is that no? It's Ubisoft. It, it's Ubisoft. So. Yeah. If Activision made it, you know there'd be swinging. Yes. Because they have that engine built already. The new Spider-Man game looks good. It looks. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously I'm, optimistic. Just it just I looks really. Movie. Well, it the, looks good. The, the thing that really draws me about it is the whole web rush thing, where it's like it slows down a little bit, and you can just time it and then it becomes way more cinematic when you zip across yes half the city and that's what that's what makes me most excited about that game Intri yes so should we get to this or should we talk about stuff or should we save that for the end uh, i think we should cut up like a story or two just for e3 
three or, or just cut some of this stuff. Yeah, cut some, cut some of this stuff. You don't have to do that last one. We don't have to do the CD project one. What CD project one? Okay. Huh? Okay. And the only reason I put that one in there is because it's, uh... Well, here, we can take this one out. Which one was that one? The Green Lantern one. Oh, yeah. Because this one's not that long, it's just the names. Yeah. And take out the SMT one. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Editing on the fly! On, we're on the run. Bam! Wait, what? Uh, so should we news and then he will yeah, do some yeah. free talk after? Yeah. Okay. Because this is totally related to what I was talking about in my prediction. This first story of news! <laughs> News! News! Yes. The the Vita, the PlayStation Vita, is finally getting its long-awaited YouTube app for people to search on YouTube. So I can finally watch Barrel Roll on, on my, Vita. my Vita. Woo! So I can roll on my Vita on any time I want. Uh, I only even found this story because it, totally, it came up like after I wrote my thing about it, <clears throat> of how the Vita should have an open software development program. And then YouTube came on. I'm like, oh, well, that's... What I kind of wanted. You're crazy. <laughs> hey, it's like they re read future things. Uh, YouTube would be great. I think that's what everyone's been clamoring about because there's no proper Flash on the Vita just yet. Yes. And this so. will be a separate app. Yes. And Flash is coming, just not now. Right. From the Vita, which I, I guess they'll I guess they'll touch it on in E3. Well, I'm a, well, you but never you cool. never I. Not that it's gonna be a huge like guys. There's Flash on the Vita now. I'd laugh if they spent like five minutes on that. We've optimized it for the Vita. Yeah, there's just like the like Adobe Flash logo up on the screen. Guys, what? We're gonna play Angry Birds. Can't. Huh? Off the, off, It's off the browser. That's right, guys. Now, and now we're playing Cut the Rope. Yeah. So that's cool. I'm gonna download the YouTube, but not the, the Flash support. Not okay. that I, I don't. I'm not looking forward to it, but I don't. That'd be nice. I found that the Netflix app actually kind of sucks on the Vita. Yeah. It keeps crashing. Oh. So, and it, I'm already at home with my iPad. Other stuff, yeah. With my iPad, which is significantly larger in screen size. I bet you if you write Netflix, they'll tell you it's Sony's fault, and if you write Sony, they'll tell you it's Netflix's fault. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even going to worry. I'm not, that sounds way too much effort. It always is. It's, that's, that's, I've got better things to do with my time, like play video games. No. <laughs> So look for that. I think it's coming out next week, so uh, during E3. The well, they'll event. definitely announce it during E3 when they'll, it's... They'll, they'll, they'll probably pop it up and be like, you can download it now. Yeah. <gasps> Go! Go! <laughs> uh, Go ooh. moving on. Yeah, keep going. Okay. The Infinity Ward and Activision lawsuit between Frank Zimpella and... What's that other guy's name? Mm. Um... I was going to say Frank West, but that's not it. No. <laughs> Zappella and Kim, someone, the, uh, the, the, studio, the old Infinity Ward studio. Yes. Pretty much. Uh, they have finally settled their lawsuit issues. For how much? What, what, what was the final like score? We don't know. Oh. Well, they, the, the part of the terms is that neither party will disclose how much they settled for. Because they settled out of court. So. Out of court. That's, that's probably the only reason why. Oh yeah, if it was um, in court, it's public knowledge. This exactly. this way is behind closed this, doors. They, it was literally behind closed doors. So doors. Activision doesn't actually have to say how much they owed. <laughs> Pretty much, or or you know if in or admit that they were wrong yeah. or someone was wrong somewhere. No one wants to admit it. Yes. So they'll but, admit it to each other, just yes. not to the public. So it, it, it'll be exactly like the Jeff Gersman thing. Just know if you see Infinity Ward like employees driving Porsches soon, that's a, you'll know probably who won. And active and Bobby Kotick is in five Porsches. Yeah. It's Cause, yeah. Either way, that's 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 one thing we one lawsuit we can finally. And eh, it's gone. It's done, guys. The, more lawsuits, just not this one. Well, don't worry. We it got took it took a long time for them to settle this. We though. got more coming. It took a long time for There's them. There's a couple that got settled this week. So. Yeah. yeah. So no, but this is a huge one. That I took know. A it's a big time. one. It took a long time for them to. Well, the other one, the, the yeah. one that got settled, is they started that yeah, in two thousand seven. Yeah, that was so. down. Uh, other yeah, lawsuit news. Lawsuits. Um, we talked about it last week or the week before. There's a, a couple there weeks, was, uh, last month, I think. Yeah, there was a guy who wrote a book, apparently, mm -hmm. uh, and it had the exact same idea as Assassin's Creed. 
So really? He, he was suing Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. Well, he dropped the lawsuit. That's a good idea. Only because he did not have enough money to go up against Ubisoft. Wow, really? Because the way he dropped it, there's a way you can word it, so you can drop it, but then come back to it later, once you've actually like accumulated enough cash to sue the other person. So instead of waiting for this, Ubisoft just countersued the guy for and saying that they're not stealing any of his ideas and that he's wasting their time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with that, I'll be right back. Puppy wants yeah. to come in. No, puppy's barking at someone. What's up? So, um, yeah, Ubisoft countersued. I think this is great because obviously like, they know the guy now doesn't have enough cash to actually like maintain a lawsuit with them. They so. might as well just strike him while he's down. I mean, it's, it's kind of his fault. It is, it's definitely his because fault, because he opened up this whole can of worms, and then went, Oh, I don't quite have enough money to, well, uh... I don't, well, I don't deny that he maybe have got, maybe he got the idea first. That's always a possibility. And he might have a case for yeah. what, yes, he might have a case, but now he's completely screwed himself over. Yeah. Like, Idiot. what did he expect? He'd went to, he'd go to Ubisoft and be like, yeah, Idiot. I'm suing you, and they'd be like, oh, Echo. No, that's not human food, or dog food, or food at all. <laughs> As we lose half of our news stories. <laughs> um, there you go. But yeah, like, oh wait, I don't have enough money to sue you guys. Leaving, hold on. Leaving Ubisoft to be like, wait, you don't have enough money to like hold out a lawsuit? We're going to sue you! Yay. So that's dumb of him. Yeah, that it was his dumb move. And I mean, honestly, it still could come out in his favor. That's not going. Um, I mean, as long as he still has that case, but... If he has documents that somehow prove that they, like, that he yeah, like, had... Pretty much copyright. The idea for the Animus and, like, all that stuff. Like, if he has an idea... If he had a he book has to talk, idea... He has, he has to talk with his publisher, really. Yes, and if he had an idea for a... Well, but I don't mean he has a publisher. Was it, all, was it self-published? I, I don't, I'm not sure if it's been published. No, it's been published. His book has been published. Oh, well. But it's just who... Like, if... if I'm so... I'm thinking he doesn't have a case, because if he had, like, the, if this book is already in existence, it's somewhere. Yes. So, and But I'm not sure if it's just a book or if it's his manuscript that, because what you do is you write yeah, something. Yeah, you write the manuscript and then you publish put it. In it. An envelope, you put it in an envelope. And then the publisher gives you money for it. No, no, no. Or not publisher. Right? You put it in an envelope, you mail it to yourself. And that way it's um, date stamped with the postal thing, and as long as you don't open that, that's your, like, legal. your legal, like, I came up with this idea back in 2008. Here is my it's, proof. Yeah. So I'm not sure if he's actually published the book, or uh, if it's just been written and is sitting in his house somewhere. He just needs to find it. Well, and I'm sure he's found. Well, I'm sure he's found it, but I don't know. To me, you have to have an idea for an animus that sends a guy back in time using to his, his DNA. What using his, his DNA. Like, like there's so many specifics that Ubisoft has put into their game. Yes, it's it's like you'd have to hit every single I think, one of I those things. I think his things. initial argument was that he created this device, like his novel or whatever fiction, yeah. had this device which went back in time using his the genealogy of the yes person of, the, who was in. of that person, and that's what his base argument was. Exactly. So, so whether or not that's a thing, it's just hard to. Either way, the guy's never going to write another book again. Yeah, I don't think he, you know, writ, wrote many. Well, and he won't have money to write any more books after this. Because well, Ubisoft's going to take him for everything he owns just for being a jackass. Pretty much. You I could, would. You could have almost worked for them. Yeah. <laughs> you should have applied. <laughs> you clearly had the idea. Do you guys need another writer? Because like, I, I, wrote this. This, I wrote this book, and That's, it's kind of similar. How, how, how much different that, of a story could that have been if, if he had gone to the like, front step and been like, this is, I wrote your story, can I work for you? That's, yeah. <laughs> That would have been a neat little, you know, article. That would have been a much better story. I would rather tell that story than this story <laughs> of a guy who's going to get his pants, like... Ripped off yeah. with lawyers, by lawyers. Yeah. Ugh. Either oh, way. Well. Either way. Um, you remember the whole DC... Was it DC? Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe? Yeah, that's what it was. It was made by Ed Boon. They were really excited for it, and it turned out to be... Like a 6 out of 10 game. 7 out of 10 game. Well, I'm... Well, it, it was okay... I, that was not all, like, NetherRealm's fault. Yeah, it wasn't all NetherRealm. It was mostly DC's fault. Yes, because they didn't want an M-rated game. Yes. They didn't want people killing people. Oh, well, no, they didn't want Superman being the tar of the people. Well, 
yeah, that too. But so. then you don't put Superman in the game. Yes. That problem's easily solved. No, they've solved that problem now. <laughs> kind of. They're making another DC combat game, yes. fighting game, called Injustice Gods Among Us. Yes. It is only DC characters this time around. There's no Mortal Kombat characters and no fatalities from the reading that I've seen. Just like intense beatdown moves, not like fatalities. Yeah, they won't be fatality. What what did they call them in that game? Brutality, heroic brutalities. Brutalities, yes. Heroic brutalities. The the heroes got heroic brutalities. Everyone else, all the villains, still got Fatal. fatalities, and all the Mortal Kombat guys got fatalities. But I mean, this way, if you so, still do, you could do brutalities. So, there's an essence they can do with it. Yeah. Um, I'm really, as much as I didn't really enjoy the first one that they they did of. You know, this genre of DC fighting game. Yep. I'm actually looking forward to this version just because it's only DC characters. They can put more people into it than they want. I mean, Harley Quinn's in it now. Yep. Solomon Grundy's in it. Um, who else are they adding in? Um, they're another dude that they're adding in that wasn't in the other ones. But they're, they've got a lot of freedom this time around. Uh, Superman's got this weird move where... And this is in the engine where he uppercuts someone, mm -hmm. uppercuts a dude into the atmosphere, like into space. He flies up and he bashes them back down onto the ground, and then they just keep fighting. <laughs> it's so, it's so backwards. So um, over the top. The, the costume design is Ed Boon's choice. They kind of looked over the entire DC universe of what costumes existed, yeah. and the closest that they could, well, like their design is. Probably re the, it resembles the DC Online costumes. Okay. Where it's kind of got like armor pieces, but it's still kind of part of their suit. Yep. Um, Dark Knight, the Batman's in it with his sort of weird futuristic DC thing. I think the they haven't said much about what the story is, but from what I can gather, it's going to be sort of offshooting from the Injustice League. Mm. Which was, if you watch the animated cartoon and some of the comic and read some of the comics, the Injustice League was a, a parallel universe to the Justice League, where they ruled over the world with their powers, pretty much. Uh, and there'll be a clash of some sort of good and evil, and evil and good and good and weird. Um, well, DC does have that nice multiverse on their side that, that, they, got, that they got rid of and then brought back because. The best part about this game, still rated T. Then they'd have to. Still rated T, because you can't have Batman ripping someone's head off, or, you know, Wonder Woman. Well, that's why that last Mortal Kombat game didn't do all that hot, is because all of a sudden they had to, like, tone down fatalities. Pretty much. And it, you, just cannot tone tone, you cannot tone down fatalities you know, and blood. I was offended by the lack of blood. Yeah. In a Mortal Kombat is, game. From what my concern was. And that's cool, because in this game... Since there's no Mortal Kombat tied onto it, they can you get can do away, whatever you want. They, they can get away yeah. with you know punching someone's like face off and no blood coming out of it right. because that didn't really happen in the comics and well it happened in the comics but in the anime show it didn't really happen that much. Yeah, the, you'll get like you'll punch the guy and you'll get the, the that red streak or whatever that yeah. like goes. It's like I was bleeding, but now mm. I'm not. Just enough to streak yeah. my my chin red. It's gonna be neat though. I, I'm I'm looking forward to it because they are also there's also a bigger focus on the environments this time around. Where instead of just a 2D, 3D plane, yeah. it'll be like this battlefield where, say, Wonder Woman can pick up a car and just slam it on the dude. And only specific power characters like Wonder Woman, power, uh, Superman, Grundy can do that. They Whereas, did that with Marvel Rise of the Imperfects. Yeah, but that was a terrible game. Well, it's because it was un unbalanced. but And, and that's, that's, that's your other shit. issue with actually adding power sets to a yes. game is you get unbalanced characters because all of a sudden I'm, I'm interested to see what it was like because Batman will be able to pick up a car he'll have gadgets same thing with the Green Lantern and the Flash well I guess the Flash won't have gadgets but no. he'll have its own they're, they're really there's a big focus on character archetypes in this time around but see like and the issue with the that one Marvel game was Magneto could fly the thing could not mm -hmm. so Magneto would whoop, Zap, 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 did. Well, that's what I really liked about a completely different fighting game, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Right. They could still fly in those games, but only for hovering purposes, yes. which is what I think they're going to do for this time around. Um, uh, faster characters like Harley Quinn, 
will be able to get the drop on like Solomon Grundy as long as she you know tumbles away into behind her and starts or okay. him and starts beating the shit out of him. Uh, look for more of that does year E three, really pretty much. Yes. And now that they don't have a Mortal Kombat cast, you can have a huge like they any DC character they want, they can pretty much put it now. DLC on disc. Yes. No. No, no, Mortal Kombat's pretty good on that. They're they're yeah. they're fine with that. Yeah, another um, realm's really good for that. So Well um, and there's a guy in the States now saying that if it's on the disc, it might not actually be illegal to crack it and get it. Because you bought the disc and all the properties on said disc. Hmm. Yeah, no, that makes sense to me. So it never was illegal in my mind though. So So there, but so there there's legal precedence now to actually being able to crack a game and mm. he's like this is as close to like legal piracy as you can get. No, that's that doesn't Makes, that makes sense to me with the whole TOS stuff and jailbreaking. Like, yeah. I own my own phone. Don't jailbreak your phone. <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing, all the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, like, if you own that stuff, you should be able to have access to it. Everything. All of, all of it. Yes. Like, even if it's just, like, a timed release or whatever it is, you should have access to it. Yeah. You, you shouldn't have to pay more or, you know, sign anything else to, you know, yeah. unlock the rest of it. Well, because it always makes, there's, I mean, the big thing with that one was, they're going, well, there's a wait period while the game's being, like, you know, you know, once it goes gold, they obviously Mm -hmm. need so much time to produce the CDs and stuff. Well, that's, Mm -hmm. like, a four-month wait period between game finished, game, you know, whatever. Except you sit there going, and then they go, so what are they supposed to do with that four months? And it's, like, make DLC. That's fine. Like, actually work on DLC. But how does that DLC, when the game's already being printed... Mm-hmm. end up on that disc it's I don't know like that's what I mean I like, think for I think Capcom that's how you get day one DLC I realize that mm-hmm. like day one DLC I realize that you have that four month span where everybody's sitting there like yeah. so if they can make DLC that comes out day one totally cool yeah but there's no way that once that game leaves there to go get actually printed on discs and put into cases that you know someone can spend two months and go oh I made some stuff we should put it on the disc. Yeah, that's because once once go, that disc printed, <laughs> go, going gold means that you're done. You're you're hands off keyboard in yeah. the main game. Yeah. You're so that's that's the stuff. excuse that some like some people were making was well they have that downtime so they they make the extra stuff and then it just we have to put some of it on the disc to optimize and it's like don't give me that. That's how bugs happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know that you know that right? You know, that's how game breaking things work. Yes. That's. Because you don't have enough testers to test the content. Uh, For all we know, all the bugs from Street Fighter Cross Tekken are from the deal, like, caused by DLC on the, the disc. disc. Yeah. That they people... just, like, slammed in really yeah. at the end there. Like, oh, we gotta do all this stuff. Just quick, put them on. We'll put them on, like, another, like, 12 characters. They'll be fine. It won't break the game. <laughs> Nothing bad can happen. You don't, need, you don't need to test it. No. Because <laughs> it's not technically on the disc. That's how bugs work. Exist. Yep. That's what took Metal Gear Solid Four so long, and Gran Turismo Five so long. But yeah, yeah, Injustice. It could be intriguing. And Nether I'm Realms just... doing a different fighting game other than yeah, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Yes. It's funny because Scorpion's still totally on the logo of Nether Realms. Well, that's what made everybody <laughs> laugh when Nether Realms. I think last year, the year before, said yeah, they yeah, don't want to make yeah. Mortal Kombat games for and a that's while. Fine. And that's fine because they're. Which is fine. Except this is their proof of they don't. Except want Mortal anymore. Kombat, like, is on their logo. Yeah. And Netherrealm is the realm for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> like, so, their entire company is based around Mortal Kombat. I would love to see them do, like, an RPG or something like That's that. That's what... They, or, uh, no, they've tried that. They've oh, done yeah, that. combat yep. weird yep. thing. Nope. Yeah. Never try that Netherrealm. Kart rate, Mortal Kombat kart racing. Done. <laughs> so terrible. I would buy it. You know how crazy that game would be? Yeah, you'd be like fatalities up the wazoo. Yeah, as you're driving, like you know how you have Cut like the red, off. you know how you have like the red shell in like a Mario Kart yeah. game. Just yeah, it would be like a giant shuriken or something that you just like wad at someone and cut their head off and they'd fly into the wall and explode into a pile of blood and bones. Yeah, yeah, and you'd just be like, Rrr. or a Sub Zero. Or yeah, each card would have its own power. Yep. Yeah. See, Luke, Kung Lao would have his hat. <laughs> Wow, we just made a game for you. Mortal Kombat Never Double else. Dash. No. Mortal Kombat Kart. Mortal Kombat Crazy Karts. All spelled with a K. All spelled with Ks. You have to have Ks. <laughs> That's the trick. Um, more lawsuit news. There's a lot of that this week. It's okay. But this one's also done. This is all finished. We're, we're just finishing up things. So, 
Um, what ended up happening was, I, f I think Epic started suing Silicon Knights. Which game was this related to? Uh, Too Human. The fantastic game. Which I actually wrote about in my E3 article. Mm -hmm. um, you did. Silicon Knights got sued by Epic because they were defacing Epic because they said that it was the engine's fault that... Too Human sucked. That Too Human sucked. And somehow it got reversed. This is... That can... Silicon Knights turned it into a countersuit that, you know, Unreal Engine 3 made their game suck. Keep in mind, this is about five or six years ago. Yeah. And the whole so... basis for Silicon Knights saying that was Unreal Engine 3 was not what it was advertised to be, so they had to make their own engine and spend less time on the game, so that's why the game sucked. Yep. That is the entire story. Well, last week, something came down that said the most that Epic owed Silicon Knights, if they owed them money, was about seven cents. Mm. So that was the first strike against Silicon Knights. Then something else happened that made them go, oh... And now this week, they finally have lost. Silicon yes. Knights countersued and lost, and they now owe Epic $4.45 million. I think Silicon Knights should just sell Epic the rights to... To Eternal, Human? Well, I was going to say Eternal Darkness. But also, yes. Just, just give, give all of their stuff away. Because, uh, you know, Epic will take the Eternal Darkness 2 and actually make it a game. <laughs> or give you, uh, well, but does Nintendo own part of Eternal Darkness? No, they don't. I don't... Because it was only for GameCube. Just because the game's only for GameCube. I know, but I'm not look sure at, if look they... At, look at Twin Snakes. I know. I'm not so, sure if they paid uh, that, that's money. worthwhile looking into. But maybe Nintendo should finally buy Eternal Darkness and give it to, like, Retro Studios and yeah. get them to do it. Anybody. Yeah, and, uh, like... Anybody. We have this nice IP. Does anybody want it? <laughs> it's, I, I hear it's a pretty good game. <laughs> yeah. I'm hearing people really like it and want a sequel. More of it would be amazing. Yeah. My, it's late already. Is it 8 o'clock? Oh, no, it's 7.30. It's 7.30. Um, so yes. Uh, Silicon Knights. I I loved you with Eternal Darkness. I loved you with Twin Snakes. Mm-hmm. Um. What was their other game that they made which was not very good other than... X-Men Destiny? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. They've had a few solid... Sol sour, sour Yeah, games. solid crap games. Um, so... Surprising. That's, this is what happens. Don't sue a bigger company. And don't blame them for your faults. Or a game. Because clearly, Epic, like the Unreal Engine, it's, it works. It, yeah. It's, How many other games are you Every seeing other it? game. Every other game out there. And my other thing with Silicon Knights is if the game was not what you wanted it to be, then why did you release it? I think it's. Like, I know you get to a I certain think, I think point it was a combination. And you have to. It was a combination of it's gonna be a trilogy, and yes, there was making weird accus like claims of man, this game's gonna be way better than the first one. But the, your your game, the first one's not even out yet. Why would you make that claim yeah. about your first game? I mean, like Mass Effect Three is the only like game set that has the anomaly to that because they when I think when two was coming out, they're like, yeah, it's gonna be a, there's gonna be a third one too. People people kind of just like, ignored that. Because Mass Effect 2 is awesome. So. <laughs> well, but Assassin's Creed did it. They said that yeah, there's going to be gonna... three. So what about AC4? There will be a four. Well, you know there's going to be a four. They're making them every flipping year. There's got to be another one. Assassin's Creed 3 Brotherhood. Yeah. So, either, but, yeah, so Silicon Knights. Yeah. It's you're, about time you kind of got schooled. So. Maybe they'll come back. 4.5 million is not bad much for a game development. Studio. It's not a huge amount, except for the fact that they've been producing nothing but flops for pretty much <laughs> since, Maybe since make, Eternal Darkness. Sil Silicon Knights should make a Kickstarter page. Save Silicon Knights with what game? Eternal Darkness Two. Done. Click all the money. Yep. Um. Oh well. New segment. Seg. Sub segment. New segment of the news. Cast, cast bombs. Yes. Fail bombs. <laughs> Either way, there's They're gonna bombs. be a big explosion right about now. There you go. Um, <laughs> I was in the center of that. <laughs> we'll add it in post. That's the magic of TV. Because this is totally TV. Okay. So the first awesome weird movie story news is that there is a company in Japan who's specializing in 
sort of screen protectors for your digital devices like phones, that phone, that's not a game, laptops, um, it is $50. Good golly. It, my, this screen protector costs like 10 cents. So what does that this new screen protector do? It makes everything on your device 3D without the, the glasses. There's a special way it goes on the screen. It does math, and it makes everything on your screen 3D. So anything, anything from your laptops to your PlayStation Vita to any device that they, they're, they're claiming it's going to be for all sorts of handhelds and screen sizes. So I have no idea now, if a, I bought a, 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 how this works, and B, why... No, that's it. Why? <laughs> and that's why it fails. Oh, and see, what happens if I put it on my 3DS? <laughs> that was my other question. What happens when you put it on your 3DS? Do you get, like, 40s? You, you start traveling through time and yeah. space? Yeah! Ah, oh, man! I don't even have to go eight miles per hour. Nope. You just gotta stick a sticker on your screen and turn your 3DS on. <laughs> now, what happens if you grabbed, like, a whole packet of them and just started plastering them to your television? That's a lot of screens that are $50 each. <laughs> I'd rather buy a 3D TV. <laughs> yeah, but this one would be so much more cooler because it's like homebrew. <laughs> this is not 1999. Who uses the word homebrew anymore? <laughs> the people who stick a bunch of $50 stickers to their TV to make it 3D. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Either way, look forward to that in Japan sometime soon, eventually. Ugh. It's a thing. I'm good. You know what I can also do is go buy my exact same phone in 3D. Yeah. They make an HTC model that has 3D. the 3D. That's and not I've, And I've seen it. It's it's not good. It's not that fancy. So It's, it's terrible, actually, compared to the 3DS. Yeah. It's actually horrible. <laughs> Next up for it's failing. Bad, bad, weird stories. Yeah, more failing. Um, Blizzard has again pushed back the auction house, real money auction house for Diablo 3. Isn't this supposed to be out by now? It was supposed to be out launch day, and we all know how that day went. So they pushed it back to the 29th of May, which is now obviously past. Yeah, which is it's... June. Our yeah. next target date is June 12th, everybody, for an auction house that, so far, my polling has zero people using. Um, why is Blizzard bothering to put dates on these things? They've never put dates on things before, unless it's, you know, for sure. Because they want to make sure that people know it's for sure. Like your dance studio? Like, yes, like the, there's the dance studio in WoW that just became like a, oh, we'll get to that soon. We'll have a guy working on it. Three expansion packs later, we'll finally see like, a, no, it'll just be like a place called dance studio. There won't actually be anything in it. No, no, no. It'll be on the next expansion. It'll be like, dance on the, studio. On the box. New, yes. do, new dance studio. New? Where's the old one? That was the old one. Um, <laughs> So yes, I think that's why they're putting the date on it, is to not freak people out into thinking that this is the next dance studio, why which is I have called as the next dance studio. Why is it so close, though? Because they, uh, like, I think there's... We all know Blizzard and their amazing uh, reputation for... I think there's know, honestly, like, one little piece that just isn't working whenever they try to, like, test it. So they're like, it'll only take, like, a couple days to fix, guys. <laughs> Give us a week. No. So they're like, we'll give you a two, and you can figure things out. And then that two weeks is coming up, and they're like, yeah, by the way, we're still not, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's not working. People are making, like, until amounts of dollars by pressing this button, so we can't do it. Yeah. Well, and the auction house online is still broken. Mm. The fake money auction house is still broken. Yay. People are bidding on things for, like, 50,000 50, gold coins. Mm. It's taking all their coins and not giving them the item. <laughs> just like real life <laughs> just like a real scam yeah <laughs> just like a pyramid scheme so i'm not even sure if the people selling the item get the money oh. or if the money just like i'm not sure what happened because like if i if that happened to me i've been like here's your money back yeah like not, I, 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 it's not my fault i don't need to... i'm not sure how anonymous it like i'm not sure if you could track down the person who gave you the money like there's got to be some sort of record for that it's like bought item from this person but they wouldn't give your blizzard real ids out that's a very personal thing we went through that already because they weren't going to use real ids it was going to be your name yes let's use your name yeah well that's kind of so that's kind of silly so oh well next so next next when's the next time 
that, like, if June twelfth comes wrong and it's not there, when is the next time? I'll We're, say the June twenty fourth. Give them another twelve days. I'm gonna. I'm almost willing to say that they'll be like. It'll be there eventually. Just we're not gonna. Yeah, the next one soon. The next one is finally yeah, there. Like, yeah. it'll show up when it shows up. Leave yeah. us alone. Yeah, we're busy making pandas. We're we're trying. Well, no, that's a completely different team. But yeah, 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 we, the, we we're trying it. to fix the Mac version of our game, <laughs> which is still broken. It got worse apparently. How, how did it get worse? They patched the game. Apparently, people are getting worse frame rates on Macs now that they patched the game. Oh, now that everyone's on the same level of suck. <laughs> My game still, like, Windows still runs fine, but Max got even slower. That just doesn't help my interest in the game. But I'm just like, way to screw it up, guys. I'm but this way, when they patch it to fix the Max, it'll seem way faster. And way more significant in the fixing. <laughs> so it's like, look at the improvements in patch 2.0, which Final Fantasy 14 2.0, still not out. I don't, the, I don't the, think we'll. I don't the, think the, we'll ever see that game. The fabled one that like changes everything around. Yeah, it's <laughs> turning. I'm pretty sure they're just trying to turn it into a single player game now. Oh, they, they, I think I got an email a couple weeks, a couple months back. Like, are you still interested in the PS3 beta? I'm like, there's a beta. <laughs> there's a beta for the PS3 version. Yes. I guess so. Sure. I like beta. I like free. Yeah. Wait, is it just gonna crash on me? <laughs> Is it just gonna? No. It, are my system requirements too low for this game <laughs> on my console? No. Everything's fine. You get it in the game. There's just like a ball on the floor. That's it. Like that's the entire. Push it. Push yeah. it. Push it. After five hours, you level up. Yes. That was a boulder. That was a. I should show you. I should try and find that comedy skit because that's one pretty funny. Loading Ready Run does one where the guy's sitting at a computer, mm -hmm. and it's like. What are you doing? And it's like, it's a game. And when you click, or you click, and every time you click more than the number on the screen, you go up a number. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And he's playing with all these other people, and it was literally making fun of, like, WoW and grinding games, where that's all you do is, like, yeah. click, 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 Sheldon click, make click, that. click, ding, Sheldon click, Sheldon made fun of that in one of the old Big Bang theories. Yep. It's like almost hours of clicking is worth nothing. <laughs> oh. And then you think about it, like that's Diablo. Like that's Diab that's Diablo. That's all PC games. Yeah. Like even we boiling it down to like Call of Duty. It's all. Good. It's just really accurate clicking. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently someone actually made the game after they saw that video. Oh. God. Someone actually programmed it and it's online. You can play it online. That's so dumb. You can sign in and actually like, click. <laughs> and then the color has something to do with it too. You change color after a while. It's quite something. So. Um. I'm going to do this again, because it worked last week. So, here we go again, folks. Uh, commercial. commercial time. And that's it. keep talking? Yeah. Yeah. And that's it, though. That worked. Because that's, yeah. That was great. I hope that advertisement it, it, was for something really awesome. The, 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 the crossover was simultaneous. I know. It's like 30 seconds of their of real time past right now. I know. And we're, we, we time traveled. We did. We time traveled. Wow. What was it like? It, I, I... I might need a new pair of pants. I need three. Whoa. Because it's time traveling? Yeah. Because I lost those pants. Whoa. In the time travel. Wow. That's crazy. And then I came back to the present. <sighs> That's what happened. <sighs> That's just nuts. Um, so now to movie news. Moving in. Moving in any news. Uh, do you want to go on this one? Sure. Okay. Um, I'm interested. I, like, I know I'm interested, but... What? It's definitely... It's a great story because we're all excited for... Mm. So, rumor, kind of... Quelled. Ish. Ish. Because it's not like it's Marvel not hasn't... Cool. Marvel hasn't come up and finally, like, gone, yes, this is what's happening, but from... Because Iron Man 3 is filming. Yes. There are already behind-the-scenes yes. shots of people that are, pe people are posting. And Ben Kingsley is pretty much confirmed as the Mandarin. But the, the biggest report so far is that it, the Mandarin is... Not Still, a full-on... Yeah, he's a side villain right now. Which is okay. Like, if they set up the Mandarin in this movie... Yeah, he's a, he's a big character. Because if he was, like, Avengers 2, that would be pretty wicked. No, the Avengers 2, they're saving... We all know who they're saving for Avengers 2. Unless they throw him in Thor. They're not going to do that. You never know. It's too soon. We'll see. Either way, Ben Kingsley as Mandarin, even if they just set him up in this movie, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that came out that was a rumor, and then all of a sudden we got full-on confirmation, yeah, pictures and video even, 
I didn't see the video of it yet. The video, I think, is now off YouTube. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Iron Patriot armor. Yes. So blue, uh, red, white, and blue with the star in the middle. Mm -hmm. Iron Man costume. So, And we don't know who's wearing it yet. It's obviously not the person from the comics, though. So. Yes, because the comics go um, Norman Osborn and, and team mm -hmm. decide to start a superhero uh, group who do superhero-y type things until they get enough power, and then, of course, go evil. Mm -hmm. Dark side. Yeah. So that's where the Iron Patriot armor comes from, is Norman Osborn wears it, but Sony owns the rights to one Norman Osborn. I don't think they own... Okay, as a side thought here, I don't think people own rights to the names like that. They own the, re they own the right to show the character. I think so. But they, like, they can say, like, for example, in The Avengers or something... Blah, 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 Norman Osborn, blah, 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 blah. I think they can do that. They can do that. Because... But it's we, useless to put a guy in a costume yeah. and never, like... I don't think they could do... Like, they can reference them, but I don't think they yes. can actually talk Which, about them to the point where, like, you go, um... Like, like you can't have, like, a okay. guy in a costume yeah. who's never seen, but it, like, he's in the yeah. costume. You can't go, Norman Osborn! Yeah. They can't, like, point him out. Yes. But they can be like, oh, which that... is, which is con which is confused me because you said the reason why they can't use Cosmic Cube yes. in Avengers was because Fantastic Four owns the rights to the Cosmic Cube. Correct. But because they can't have a that glowing cube thing cannot mm -hmm. be called the Cosmic Cube. But I thought it wasn't just the Fantastic Four thing. It was, I thought it was like it was Marvel created universe. in the Fantastic Four thing. It was created to fend off Galactus with the Fantastic Four. But they didn't even use it in any of the Fantastic Four movies, though, so... No. They did, but they still own the rights to it. It's like any um, mutant character created mm -hmm. goes over to Fox. Mm -hmm. Okay. But apparently, I was watching some stuff, there's a loophole in there where Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch can actually be in the Avengers movie. Yes, that's one of the rumors. You just can't reference them as Magneto's kids, and they can't be mutants. So they have to be just people with superpowers, mm -hmm. and you can't reference the fact that their father is Magneto, which takes away kind of all most of, of their character. I don't know a lot about Quicksilver, but I know what Scarlet Witch. And that's so. the same thing with, like, Wasp in the Ultimate Comics was a mutant. Mm, is that why... But they can't, but they, in the originals, she wasn't, so they can use her in the Avengers movie. They just yes. can't do, go with the mutant route. I'm okay with that, because... And I'm okay with that, too. I but, never thought of her as a mutant. But that's the way that, like... Because in the Ultimate Comics, they were finally doing all that crossover stuff, mm -hmm. so it worked out okay. But, like, if they throw anybody in the Avengers that's a mutant, Fox automatically owns the rights to that character and then can sue Marvel yeah. Studios. So, there's a lot... It's all a bunch of legal tie-up stuff that's just stupid but because certain people own the rights to the dumbest stuff but yeah you can't obviously have norman osborne in the movie so there's someone else underneath the iron patriot armor uh rumors are it's not tony stark so i i honestly thought like when i first saw it i, th it, I thought it looked like steven rogers mm. but and then my mind thought of it because like oh captain america that in iron suit that yeah. makes sense but then i realized wait he doesn't need it yeah, he would never put on a suit of armor. That's not. That's definitely not his character. <laughs> he was having a hard time getting references in the Avengers movie. Never mind putting on a yeah. suit of like high tech armor and flying mm -hmm. around. Yeah, he just jumps out of things with a parachute and a shield and totally. calls it a day. Yeah, and then fights Thor. Yeah. So <laughs> whoever's whoever's willing to like duck under Thor with like a vibranium shield doesn't need an Iron Man suit. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> Bam! Earthquake. Speaking of Marvel movies, though... Good segue, there's, right? There, there's, yeah. Um, for those people who have not seen the Marvel movies leading up to the Avengers movie... Or who don't own them all. Or right. own them or anything. Uh, Marvel is releasing a 10-disc Blu-ray set Woo! with Avengers-themed everything with all of the movies, including Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 1 and 2, Thor, Captain America, and the Avengers movie coming out... Uh, sometime next, year. no, not next year, end of this year. Yeah, the pre-order's up on Amazon.com, yep. apparently, yep. so. So you can order that now, well, not this 10-disc set, but for the Avengers movie. The Avengers movie. You can pre-order that. Yeah. But 
this set is going to have all those movies in it. Plus, plus four more discs. Plus four more discs and more, like, commemorative Avengers material. Possibly leading to more information about, you know, more Avengers 2. They always kind of... He's like, They're oh, we've good. got some stuff like yeah, about the next Avengers, and then it's literally like a ten-second clip, and you're yeah, just like, yeah, because remember the Thor one was it Thor or Captain yeah. America? One, one of the two. two. Yeah, which was like it Captain liter- America, and it, it was, was like there was a sticker like, oh, the, the get sneak more pre- info on the Avengers movie. There's a sneak preview for the Avengers movie. Yeah, you know, and it was nothing we had had. We barely like there was one thing where Joss Whedon's like, yeah, I'm making the Avengers, and it's like, cool. We knew that already. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the heads up. Thanks. <laughs> so, but this comes in its own special like shield packaging and stuff like that. So, it, it's does I, Agent Coulson deliver it to my house? No, he's damn. Gone. He's he can't. You should see Twitter, man. Why? Because there's there's a nice little hashtag that people. He's not. What is it like save Coulson or something? Coulson lives. Oh. I, I highly doubt Twitter will be able to save. He signed up for the Nick Fury movie. Well, it could be easily just... Unless he's a flashback. Yeah. Spoilers, by the way, everybody. If you haven't seen it, it's your own fault. Shouldn't it? Any, I think everybody has seen it. No, that question I asked last week, there was three poor souls who haven't seen it yet, so... But chances are you're not watching our news. 500 chances. million... Yeah, dollars. Yeah, that... That, that, that's a lot of people that have seen it. <laughs> it's a lot of people. That's that's why I'm not all that concerned with, yes, but there's a lot of stuff for, eight, like, Coulson lives. And he is he is in the Nick Fury movie, so... When is that, that, when is that coming out? Mm. Mm-hmm. Then, never. So. Well, if all, if anything, it probably takes place before. Haven't I seen th- a body, haven't seen a body, haven't seen a body. You saw a body! He was not dead when I saw the body. He did this... That's not dead. Yeah? That's passed you, out. You can die with your eyes closed. That's passed eye out. Open. Passed out. Passed out. No. Totally passed out. He's gone. He's not gone. It's Joss Whedon, but He's then again, not, it's not really Joss Whedon. It's, it's not Joss. all Joss Whedon, so... I still... It's not... He's He's gone. Wouldn't that be great on the Avengers DVD? Like, one of the, um, Coulson shorts? And it's him, like, <laughs> waking at up. a hospital. Yeah, waking up at a hospital. That would... Because oh. then, like, Stephen... Like Captain Rogers and like Tony Stark and like everyone will be like turning to Nick Fury. It would give them a reason to get pissed at Nick Fury, which is I mean you always need a reason to get pissed at Nick Fury. He has puppy dog. Yes. Whenever she stretches, sometimes she farts. So. Oh. That could have been a deadly stretch. <laughs> I'm glad you you know the tells. I do, because she drops atomic bombs. This dog does so. <laughs> Um, okay. yeah, so there's yeah. that, and then... Look for that, and then... Which version of the Avengers are you getting? The, the DVD release. I'll get the Blu-ray. Are you, there's, like, four different ones. There's the, 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 the 3D one. No. And then the Blu-ray one. Okay. And then there's a, another Blu-ray one, which is, like, a different packaging. I think there's a red one and a blue one, which... A porn of the Amazon page are exactly the same thing, except for the cover. One's HD... They're bringing HD DVDs back? That's gotta be it. I knew it! That's the surprise. <laughs> for all five of you that bought your HD DVD players for your Xbox. So glad I didn't get into that when I bought my Xbox. I bought I bought my Xbox, and like two months later, the HD DVD thing went like dead, and I'm like, that is why I didn't buy it, because they were still duking it out at that point. So. And Sony had a huge lead. <laughs> at that point... Not really, like, it well, was... It was not, like, numbers lead, but more of, like, a... Ours comes on the Blu-ray. Why not? Yeah. And yes. that's... Well, then Disney got behind it, and everybody Blu-ray. else got behind it, and... Hey. That's a, that's a strange place for you to be. That's all... That's, she, that's what she does. Man, <laughs> sniffing your foot. Um, last so. up, we did report last week some Hunger games the type news for Catching Fire. The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Yes, The Hunger Games Catching Fire. And Rob Patterson was supposedly in the running for... A okay. Finnick. There's the clock again, folks. We, um, mean, we have a timer. Yeah, it's kind of... Either way, yeah. Rob Patterson has been... That, that rumor has been quelled, it is gone, it has disappeared, it is no more. So, now we have, up for running, Army Hammer, 
He was in the social network. Mm, he wasn't one? a huge character. Oh. We only know the I think he was one of the prep guys who tried to get Facebook started in that oh, movie. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hi. Um, Taylor Kitsch, 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 uh, Friday Night Lights. I'm not really, I don't know. And the one that I would now like to see in that role, because I believe he would actually be really good, is Garrett uh, Headland from Tron Legacy. Mm. He was the kid in Tron Legacy. Like, he was the main character in Tron Sam? Legacy. Sam? Yep. He's in so. I think they recast him for Kingdom Hearts 3D. Oh. Because they're doing Tron Legacy, Tron Legacy in 3D. So, uh... Yeah. Either way. Either way, they're, the three of them are apparently now duking it out for the role of this one dude. So. I think they're all good. I mean, I don't know anything about Army Hammer, but... Neither do I. So. Uh, but I like Garrett H- And mm-hmm. Garrett Hedlund has done the action movie thing mm-hmm. with Tron. Yes. So he's got that little... Mm-hmm. Although it's uh, to be argued like if most of that was digital. Though, so. I know, but still it's... He's kind of got the, you know, if you consider going, the guy from Tron is in our movie. Yeah. And out of all of them, he is the prettiest. I don't know what Army, Army Hammer looks like. Not so that pretty. Okay. So we'll fix that in post. Yeah. They'll hit him in the face with a shovel. Totally worked for Robert Patterson. I was going to say, like, wouldn't that just... They saved the, the wrong person? Yeah. They hit the wrong guy with a shovel. What the hell is that? You keep hearing things. Didn't the light flicker just now? I don't know. Oh. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> don't have to be old to have a stroke. Oh, don't, have be old. don't have to be old to have a stroke. Oh, dear. So. So, that's That's news. it news. Did your phone break? No, Facebook's just broken on me. Screw this noise. App time. Because I wasn't singing that song. Um, da, 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 da. Sight news. Sight news. I don't remember what I put up on Sunday. I'm getting there. I know it's something cool. I'm getting there. I don't remember the. Week. It was pretty late because I got home pretty. Because you got home from being a pixie or something. Very shush. Yeah, that was one of the roles. Tetris the official. Tetris the movie. I don't like those weird Tetris movies. Fairy movie. elf orc warrior is what you were playing this week. Yeah. Weekend, or last weekend. Orc. I didn't actually do an orc. <gasps> you lie. I don't know. Was, I played an ox thing. It's kind of an orc. Minotaur. That's what I did, a minotaur. Ah. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Hello, dog. Hello, puppy dog. Come here. Again? Come, come here. Come, sit. Sit. Good girl. Yeah. Lie down. Hey, lie down. Lie down. Good girl. Stay. So, puppy dog. I'll pet you from down there. Just using your feet. Anyway, yes, yes, Tetris, the official trailer. The movies, best movies. movie of all times. I, this made me laugh because people were obviously looking at it on their phones and couldn't add their own Things. stuff. I left it open. Like, it's, I thought this would be a really good, like, yeah. get your kind Side. of... Yeah. It'll be very balanced. Um, Still just Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints and back to the... Whoa, hey, what's up? Puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> I am now a dog. <laughs> Sit. Easy, easy. Good girl. Man, that's on me. Look at that, lying down. Just on me. There you go. She's trying to hatch your feet. Great. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Hello, Saints. I don't know. Back to the Future. Whoa. Easy puppy dog. So, Back to the Future. Um, the Mummy was another boat, so we take yeah. one away from Indiana Jones and give it to the Mummy. You. I know. But not my choice. Um, Batman and the Dark Knight got a vote. Good. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind got a vote. Sit! Easy to sit. Good girl. Uh, that which is also a good movie. Clerks got a vote. Yes. Uh, Back to the Future. Enemy at the Gate got a vote on Google+. Plus. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not, it's not a bad movie. Nope. So, I so, don't particularly like it, but... I was expecting a lot more kind of fun votes, I guess. Not this movie. Well, but but like a but I was expecting a list of different movies, but everybody was on their phones and thus can't add. To yeah, there's the, a lot uh, of strange things. I think the there's questions. a thing okay. where I can't. Get, get in. Candle.
Good dog. There's a thing. That's how we roll. <laughs> you don't you don't vote right. Go to kennel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, there's a weird thing on my phone where I can't like a page like a, like a story properly with my own account. Oh. It's so weird when I try to like it. It's our Facebook page liking our own page, common post. Sweet. Not not to boost our own ego or anything, but <laughs> I mean, I, I like, like all of my stuff. It's a it's Facebook on the ph phones are weird as shit. Mine's that's my weird thing, like, and I mean obviously not at being able to add uh, responses. So, mm -hmm. and then I was adding them, and people weren't voting for them. So, uh, With I Star added Wars on there at all. Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back got two votes. That's a good one too. Uh, and Saw got a vote, but mm. it didn't actually get a vote because they, I added it, they just didn't vote for it. Mm. So, I'm not a huge Tuesday. Saw fan. Tuesday. Stacking. Game. It's fun. game, I already talked Don't about do it. it. Rewind. <laughs> but it's not good, it's years. fun, it's delightful, it's You're doing cheap. the time thing again. Go buy it. No, we're not in 3D. Um. <laughs> we should turn them into 3D, Dad. Hump day humor, that kid falling into that puddle. Mm-hmm. You have a strange fascination towards violence. <laughs> <laughs> and just laughing at people in lesser... Just it's just great because it's like puddle hop, puddle hop, puddle hop. Whoosh! Disappears. I was laughing so hard at my house when I saw that because I was not expecting that. I thought they'd like... Very mean. I thought they'd trip and like, you know, smack their face into the mud. But no. You're just very mean. They fell down a hole. I am a mean person. Oh, just this is about in my pocket. Uh... Extra empty humor. Once again, more dogs. I just thought he was so damn cute. And then we'll go to Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday, watched. I watched. Seven seconds. It is the movie that. Who's in it? Wesley Snipes. So it should be great. No. Oh. It is the movie he did after Trinity Blade. Trinity. Oh, the one that before he went to jail for Yes. Yes. It was it. It came out right before that. It's a straight-to-DVD movie. It is a heist movie gone horribly wrong. Like, not in both ways. In the story and in real life. Because it's just not a great movie. Uh, imagine one of those really poor B-rate action movies where everything explodes. <laughs> like, I, I love it when that happens. I think it was a... It was a cop car during one of the car chase scenes. And... Obviously, he, he lost him. Wesley Snipes' character lost him. And it ran into, I think, a cart. <laughs> and it exploded. <laughs> in a ball of fire. <laughs> yes! And you could, you could definitely still see that he was he still had some blade in him. Because there was a lot of... I mean, yeah, like, Wesley Snipes does martial arts training already. So that's why they chose him for blade. But a lot of the moves that he does in, you know, the close quarters combat looks like it came from blade. <laughs> so, there's a little, not a lot of distinction there. Uh, it's not a good movie. Well, it's straight to DVD. But you, but you're really you've held strong to this countdown. Oh, thing we'll now. find something better. There's got to be something better next week. Or with a six in it. Yeah, there's got to be. Sixth Sense. I've seen it already. I know. And it's on Netflix. Well, but was this on Netflix? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Oh wait wait, June first today. Yes. You might not be on anymore. Uh, <laughs> it might not be on anymore. <laughs> now you have to go find it somewhere so you can watch the Good luck. <laughs> Maybe it's at the library. <laughs> no, it's such a bad movie. I think I gave it like a three or a four just because it was Ed Wesley Snipes in it. <laughs> and the story is just so old all over the place. The chase scene is like the first, like initially, like, the exposition of this is a chase scene. Yep. Like between cars. Come on. Where are you supposed to be right now? Not there. Okay. Stay put. You're cute. Aww. <laughs> you stopped. Anywho. So that's the thing. That's a movie. So then going back in time in the week. Wow. Thursday. Our, we talked. E3 yeah. predictionies. Yeah. That's a, you had some good ones. You had some, you had some good ones. Hey, puppy dog. Get in.
<laughs> Dog slobber everywhere. Yum. Um, they. <laughs> um, Pokemon 3D. Yeah. We both want. That's a thing. That should be a thing. It should be a thing. And why is it not a thing? I don't want this fucking conquest shit. I don't want this black and white two shit. Give me like you. The only reason I'm excited kind of for Black and White Two is because we get that AR like Pokemon hunting around your house thing, and it does transfer into the game. Yeah. So I can run around my house like a crazy person blasting Pokemon with a beam. But that's not. But then make a Pokemon snap in 3D. I don't. I do not know why there is not like a, a an augmented reality Pokemon snap. Maybe they're saving for the Wii U. Maybe. That's, but that's the thing. But like I said in my article, I've been waiting. Like, since pretty much Pokemon Stadium came out, I have wanted a 3D Pokemon adventure game. XD? Gale of Darkness? No. Gale of Darkness? No. Gale of Darkness, the XD? You there's, break there's... all the rules and you catch other people's Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, no, I just... Like, even in... Rule number one, you do not catch other people's Pokemon. <laughs> but they're evil. I know, and that was the worst, because then you had to, like, use them, but they couldn't use any of their moves until their, their darkness. darkness went away. Yeah, it's like the trust thing. Ugh. My my thing is, fine, don't make a 3D adventure. That's fine. But make a big boy, like, full-on eight gym badges plus side story on the 3DS or on the Wii U. Yes. You just, even that's fine. Just, I'm tired of flat, yes. like, characters. No, that, that's what I mean. Like, literally, I want a Pokemon game done with 3D graphics. Go. It could still be eight gym battles for all I care. Totally. It would look great. That'd be fine with me. Yeah. I'd be fine with that. Yeah. You could remake Red and Blue. I think the, if you follow the release schedule of the re-releases, yeah. Ruby and Sapphire are up next. I know they are, but if you were going to start like with a whole 3D thing... Yes. Might as well start with like another generation. Start with a new gen or start with the first gen. But I think that's I think it's still too early for it. Because they did uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red. So. I know they did. I think but it's still too early for that. Again, if it's in 3D... I'd rather be playing with Squirtle than with any other. You can still get Squirtle in, in Ruby Sapphire. Yeah, you can. Just not right off the bat. Oh, you and your freaking Squirtle. I love my Squirtle. Nothing compares. Piplup's way better. No. Piplup's cute. It's a freaking penguin, man. He's a Squirtle turtle. It's a penguin. Squirtle mates with a turtle. Squirtle. Don't go into science how it works, folks. All you kids watching out there. <laughs> I forgot what I wrote. I just kind of kept rambling. Um, I don't remember what What we can expect is obviously uh, Microsoft and Connect. Yes, Microsoft Connect and... A bunch of people flailing on stage showing off Connect um, issues. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to seeing Nintendo not even stopping with a steamroll of Wii U this, Wii U that, Wii U this, Wii U that. They're not going to stop. Oh no. Because they close out the show, so it's literally going to be like Hey guys, we have to talk about this quick because, you know, since we dropped the price, the 3DS is actually selling, like, you know, hotcakes hot cake. now. So, 3DS, Reggie will have his nice bar graphs yes, with all of his numbers. No, it's a pie chart this time. And yeah. it's in 3D. <laughs> yeah. And it's in 3D. So, yeah, he'll, he'll do his whole pie chart thing. He'll talk about the success of, you know, all these games that just came out. Yep. Um, we'll get a quick little Dream Drive Distances, you know, coming out later this month. I wouldn't even expect him to talk about it. I bet they'll probably mention they won't. it this much. They won't even... I, I'm, my money is that they won't even mention it. Mention really? It. I'm thinking they'll say something. Just a quick little, look for it later this month, and then go on to well, they, whatever else the, is coming out. The only reason why I can see it, why I say that is, Nintendo's never really been a full-on supporter of their third-party publishers. Yeah, but if they, 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 It's to... only been lately that they have been. Um, I think they're I mean, trying to kind remember, of schmooze more with the Wii U coming out. If you remember last year, it's all like, oh, Luigi Mansion 2 and yeah. Kid Icarus and blah, blah, blah. All these first party games. Get them soon, eventually. I mean, Kid Icarus will be later, but whatever. <laughs> and Zelda, then they had a lot of Zelda stuff so, last year. So all they did. Yeah, the, uh, Kotaku, I think, made a list yes, of the promises. Of all three of them. Yeah. And Nintendo's been the most faithful. Yeah. Cause, and and yeah. most of the Nintendo stuff was... Year. We've announced Luigi's Mansion 2, but we haven't given you a date. Yeah, that's fair. And so Kotaku's like, well, it's not really true, but it's not a lie, because we haven't heard anything else about the game, Yeah. but it's still coming out. Eventually, yeah. So... The only, the only lie was it really Woody, uh, Kid Icarus. 
and it still came out. It just came out late. So much freaking later. Yeah. For practically a year later. Yeah. It still came out though. <laughs> so I was reading about the Kid Icarus, the Circle Pad Pro. Uh huh. Um, I'm not even gonna bother getting it. Apparently, the Circle Pad Pro adds functionality for left-handed players. So if you All need your Circle Pad to move, you still use the pen to shoot. So that's all the Circle Pad Pro does. It doesn't even add reticles like a real shooter. No. So I'm like, wow, my interest waned from 1% to 0. Because <laughs> I'm looking for a reason to use my Circle Pad. It's okay. As long as that flipping game's out now, we can do some Super Smash Bros. He can get to work on some Super Smash Bros. He's so... He's still, like, looking at characters to the license. I know. Mega Man. That's why, uh... Mega Man. Deep in my, deep in my like, <laughs> wishes for E3, it's like, Super Smash Bros? They'll I think they'll just talk about it. Could, but could you imagine how crazy the crowd would get if they actually had some kind of footage already, though? I can believe that because the turnover for those, like, the developments is really quick, but... They just don't... But could it, you, like, it takes them a long time to you know finalize, but to make the initial stuff, they're yeah. pretty quick at it. But that would be a good counter to that uh, all-star PlayStation battle oh, game God. thing. Because you know they're going to show that off. It's so easy to counter that. Yeah. Injustice counters that. Yes, but... For me. But like if, if, they're, if like Sony's like, yeah, it's our great new like brawling game, and then Nintendo the next day goes like, Smash you Brothers. thought you guys saw like a brawl? Wait for the, and who knows what the hell they're going to call the next Smash, one. Like, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Bro Melee of Death. Super Smash Brothers Family Reunion. <laughs> and it's all of them from every, everything. Every game. Even the clones. All the clones. Falco and Pug. Um. Hello, puppy. Come on. Nick. So... But yeah, um, yeah, Smash Brothers. It's it's a at least you can get to work on it now. Like it's now a faint possibility stuff. that'll be there. It's very faint. Like for me, it was literally a wish just to just to see it pop up and see people go. <gasps> I think the name. I think they'll mention it. They'll mention. They'll, it. They'll, they'll, it'll be like it'll be on the Nintendo 3DS and the Wii U, U cross compatibility. There's that's how they'll segue. Yeah. Yeah. Cross compatibility. Cause you can do that. There's two screens. And there's two analog sticks now for both consoles. They've already been saying that it's going to be... Yeah. Yeah. Um, across. Anything else other than the top of your mind? Apparently there's a new Gears of War announcement coming. Yeah, I know. Don't care. Yeah, I, I, I played care. the first one! I feel like they're all the same, so no. Apparently the story gets much more like... Call of Duty-like? No, like heartwarming and touching. I thought that was what 3 was supposed to be. I think that's what, yeah. 3 was supposed to be like that. I don't know, any other huge announcements? Uh, Lords of Shadow 2 doesn't count anymore. Um, Not that it was a really good, good game in the first place. But New Harvest Moon game! Yeah, you no, know, good. And Natsume's got another game coming out from the creator of Harvest Moon. Mm -hmm. He's got a whole new game coming, so... Moon Harvest? <laughs> Something like you that. You Harvest Moons. It's a whole new IP from them, so it'll have farming and moon something else. Moon harvesting. You harvest moons. Well, they did the Rune Factory series. Yeah, that's true. Which was demon hunting and farming. So if they just keep, maybe they'll just keep tacking stuff on. Like, you run a farm, you fight monsters, and at the same time you run a convenience store. And you're battling aliens. No, no. Bill, that's for the next game. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I, again, the, the standard clause exists. Excited for things we don't know a damn freaking thing about. And yeah, like, I'm, I'm really excited to so. know more about the Wii U. Uh, I'm excited to be surprised. I'm, like, that's what I mean. Final I'm, Fantasy 16! Yeah, no. What? Where's, versus 13? <laughs> Where's 15? <laughs> <laughs> you listen so well. Kind of. She, she goes a little bit. Every once in a while. And now she's on the, her butt is on you. Yeah, she's hatching your foot. That makes sense. I know. Good girl. So, yeah, I'm more excited for the stuff I don't know about. Well, and that's, that is always a thing, right? So, yeah. I think um, last year had some pretty big bombshells. I think Microsoft needs a, has a lot of catching up to do. They always have a lot of catching up to do. Like, so much. The only thing that can be said about the, how much they whore out the Kinect, it is selling. Yes. 
And so like I they might spend their entire convent like their entire thing talking about the connect, but it works because people buy it. Mm -hmm. I think this year Sony also has a lot of catching up to do. They have a lot of stuff they need to you know pick up the slack on. We'll see. Go, kennel, in. Now you're not getting out. Well, with the what did I say? Sony catching up. Move. Mm, well, I would love to see a, a resurgence in the move support. They know they're lacking, so yes. we might see the something. Unless they, something. unless no one's making games for it anymore. But oh, I, I'm almost willing to bet that they're gonna also have like some sort of preview of the, the future. Of like another console. console. It's still pretty young. The PlayStation Three's life. I mean. What is it, like five years now or something? Yeah, and they, five wanted, or six years? they wanted ten, ten years, years out of it. So, so there's still a little bit of time left on it. Maybe it'll have a, a controller that's shaped kind of like a boomerang. I, well, I miss that controller. I'm surprised no third part. I'm surprised no, like... They probably own the trademark to it. That doesn't... So? So? Everyone owns the trademark. They've owned that PlayStation 2 controller trademark forever, and oh, everyone yeah. still copies it, so... But they have to pay Sony. So? So why would you pay for something that you know, like, five people are going to buy? I'm going to buy four of them and replace all of my controllers with them. <laughs> so I'm they're going to get really pissed at someone. <sighs> and then it comes back to you. Yeah. Uh, controller. Yeah, I'm thinking we might see something from... No, it, it'll be exactly how, how the move is revealed. It's like, this is a stick with a light on it. Woo, look how yeah. things. And then it becomes a thing. So it'll be... Like, there's still a huge rumor of cloud gaming with the next PlayStation console and the Orbis thing. Uh, Sony did say something that their next console is still going to be disc-based. So, eh. They might have cloud... Like, I mean, Microsoft has cloud saves. I, both of them have cloud saves, yeah. so... Like, they, like they Sony have, started with it, and then Microsoft was like, oh, that makes a sense. They have cloud save, And I mean, honestly, with video games, you it's don't so need easy. much more than cloud saves. Yeah. Bring your disc to your buddy's house, plug it into his system, load up your... But the thing is, if you don't... What happens if you don't need that disc? You could just be anywhere and play it. I don't know. I've tried I... playing games off of the cloud. <laughs> if your internet... See, and that's the other thing. If your it's internet... Internet's. If in your Canada, internet we connection don't... sucks... In Canada, we, we're not allowed to have online because our connections are not as prolific as they are in the States. Yeah, so. because that's why a lot of people have been complaining about Diablo 2 being... Or Diablo 3 being online only, is mm. that... You know, my connection's fine. Like, I never have an in issue with latency or anything. But some people are in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. They get... <laughs> for internet, well... I saw some guys playing Diablo 3 on top of a mountain. Oh, yeah, it can be done. They tethered their phones to their laptops. Yeah, it and, can... And then said, Man! Playing a slideshow yeah. on top of a mountain. <laughs> so it's... I, I like... And I mean, you can buy games off of... You know, PSN and Xbox Live mm -hmm. now. So that's not a, like, that's there now. Mm -hmm. um, I think your biggest integration would be to put something like Steam onto your console. Like, yeah, actually, gonna... actually allow Steam and Origin to have their stores on your console. But, that but... will be a long time coming. Yes. That will be a long time coming. They, they just got it for Portal 2. Yeah. But I think Strike Global Offensive will get it. I think that's the closest you'll ever get to cloud gaming for a while. I would. With consoles. Well, we've still got another couple years. We do, but. So. And it, all, for all we know, it, it kind of just, it's, l let them make it, really. They're, they'll figure out if they want to do it, yeah. and do it I effectively mean, giving, for everyone. Giving people the options, great, mm -hmm. but again, I, like, I still like buying I'm, I'm a very, discs. I like, the, I like cloud gaming. I'm a very big fan of it. The idea that I can just pick up something and play it anywhere I want, I'm a huge fan of that. I'm a very big fan. So. I like discs. Yeah, but then I don't have a disc. I don't need a disc. I know. I don't need a disc. But then well, you need the internet. So you're going to need the internet to play the game anyways in the future. Then next, <laughs> then I, and then Nick stops gaming. I don't know. It's, I think that's the next thing. No discs. It's easier. It's easier. It's cheaper. It's everything. Yeah, you'd lose so many sales. Well, I mean, but my, my argument is that you don't need to have to print off discs anymore. You, it's a huge push towards the green environment. And that's huge, except you'll never sell, you'll sell 
ten percent of what you sell now. They're gonna need. They're gonna need like a huge catch on it though. So. <clears throat> Can't do collector's editions anymore. They can do digital collector's editions. They yeah. can still. They can still do the whole like, here's the game in the box and here's a code, but you also get the sweet statue. Yes, you can do that, but, but then all they're doing is selling pieces. Of, they start selling pieces of paper out of the stores. That's what they tried to do with a lot of PSP games. So, and that worked a little, not well. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I like being disconnected. I like being connected. I, I like being social. I like being social. I'm not saying Whatever. social. Disconnected, like off the internet. We'll That's... see. I'm the whole cloud gaming. I'm a fan. I I just I really. I know you dig it, but look at the, like, Diablo 3, the amount of people that are pissed off that you have to be online all the time. I don't... Until the internet is, like, well, that's that, but everywhere, that, but that was runs everywhere. But for Diablo 3, that was for, mm, primarily for piracy. No, that's to stop you from creating items to sell on the real um, auction house. Piracy. So. Yeah. And that was just the Blizzards thing, because they... They tried what well, they want to do on a new idea. And it's not out yet, but you know whatever. Yes. No, I, I, I'm, I still like buying discs and putting things in. Like Steam, I dig. Because it's cheap, and it's easy on. Yeah. What, PC. If, what if? What if the, the cost goes way the fuck down? Like say Metal Gear Solid Five, instead of like it being a fifty dollar game, it's like a, a fifteen dollar game, because developmental costs are so low. Then the then they're. The number of sales will stay the same, but they won't be making as much money. No, I mean, developmental costs will be lower, that's the thing. Just because, well, production costs will be lower. Yeah. Development costs will be exactly the same. Well, they just need to take into account that it's, you know... It doesn't have to go on a disc. Yeah, like, loading times can be adjusted here and there. Yes. And it can be easier to make, so... I, I see where it comes from, I just... I don't like having to be connected to the internet to get my Oh, stuff. you don't have to be connected to the internet all the time, but I imagine like once in a while you connect. Well, but for cloud gaming, you have it's all, it would be all the time. It'd be a hybrid. It would be a hybrid then. Everything would have to run off of the cloud into the system. Maybe they could have some sort of system where it's like, it's a cloud gaming, but to get I mean, like I, full I, functionality, you have to go online. I like, I like the digital distribution route with cloud saves. To me, that works. To me, that works way better for me. I want to see the sales numbers on all those uh, full release games on the PS3 and Xbox. Like, see how many they actually sell. I'm not sure if they are if those are counted with the actual. They're not counted. They're not counted. But I want. I would like to see how many people you know actually buy those games. Mm -hmm. Like, especially now with PlayStation Plus, you can get like full size games for like ten bucks. Yeah, they put them cheap. Yeah, they put them real, real cheap. They're, they're even, a, even without the discount. Yes, they're having a, well, they're having a sale right now. So well, they're having a sale now, but even yeah. without the discount, it's pretty good. Mm, I'll still pick it up in a store for that. Like, for regular price, I'll still pick it up in a store. Then I have the disc in case anything ever happens to their online thing. You never know. Yeah, but that's why, like, the stuff I bought five years ago on the PlayStation 3, I can still download. I know you can still download it I'm until down. something crazy happens and Sony goes out of business and then you're screwed. Well, at that point, I'm going to already switching clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jumping ship at that point anyways, but... So. <laughs> like, that's my thing with games that I, like, actually own. I can still put into my Super Nintendo and play. I can still put into my N64 and play. Yeah, but there's still a bunch of Xbox games you can't put into your Xbox 360 and play. <laughs> if I bought an Xbox, I could play. Yeah, there you go. But that's what I mean, like, I don't get rid of consoles, so... Mm -hmm. So, like, that's what I mean, like, if I own the game, I can put it into the system, I don't have to be online to play the game, I'm good to go. As soon as you have to start being There's gonna be have, there, so If Sony wants to do some sort of cloud stuff, they're gonna have to have a huge incentive, though. Yes. That's the thing. And that's, you know, the wild fact, the X factor. Yep. So, yeah, the, that's E3. The stuff we don't know is the stuff I'm more excited about. Or just getting more info on some of the stuff we know, like, that much about. Yeah. Or conf conf confirming or denying rumors and stuff like that. Yeah, like I mean, the Wii U. It's almost completely done, like in terms of. This like, is supposed to be it. Yeah. Whatever shows up at E three is supposed to be the final product. I would almost be. I would almost say that the Wii U will be out this year. It's supposed to be. But like. By November, it's supposed to be. Out. That's what they're saying. But yeah. like, 
there's always the thing like, oh, we're, we forgot to add a third analog stick. Or something, <laughs> I don't know. Something dumb. No, I, I think they're on target for actually getting yeah. it out for this holiday season, so. Yeah, they're, those, why? The, those? Your, the big thing will be the launch lineup and whether we're getting um, a first party Nintendo Zelda mainstay. Game. Mario will be for sure. Because that, look at the 3DS release. Mm-hmm. Look what happens when you don't release one of your games with the system. Pretty much. Yeah. I think there was only one, wasn't there, for the 3DS? There's only, like, one. One main... And it wasn't even a huge game, either. It was just... What was it? It was really terrible. Was it Nintendo? That was one of them. Steel Diver? Even though oh, that... the Steel Diver game. Yeah. But no, like, I'm talking, like, a... Pilot Wings. That was the one. Yes, which was pilot kind of Pilot Wings, Wings, but not really well, Pilot Wings. It was Pilot Wings mixed with Wii, Wii Sports. Yes. That's yeah, what you, I was thinking of. Like, bring out, bring out a Kirby game, bring out a Zelda game, Star Fox, like, bring out... Something. Any of those, and... And I want to see what Retro's up to. Because mm-hmm. they've been working on a game, and there was a rumor last week that it was going to be a Metroid Star Fox crossover. Yes. And that got debunked, but... Retro working on a Star Fox game would be wicked. Yeah, because didn't they handle the 3D one? Oh no, that was... No. Because Retro, Retro does the Metroid games. They do the Metroid Prime games. Yeah. So. A first person shooter Star Fox game? And... I'd be down for another Star Fox adventure type game. As long as it doesn't suck balls. I didn't mind the last one, it just was not Star Fox. It was Zelda. Star Fox. Star Fox. Legend of Star Fox. Like, he didn't even have a pistol. Legend of Star Fox. Yes. <laughs> like, if you literally had that, like, the same game, but he had a pistol instead of that stupid wappy stick, mm-hmm. game made. Like a third-person um, action shooter with Star Fox. With, of course, a shit ton of flying levels. Because that was the other problem with that game, is they're like, once they figured out that they weren't making whatever action game they were making... And mm-hmm. decided to go with um, Star, like put Star Fox in the main character. It's like, uh, huh? We have to put some R wing levels in. So here's one, here's another one, third one, fourth. Okay, that's good. We only need like four. No one likes flying that plane, anyways. That's what made Star Fox, though. Yes. Star Fox one and two. But if it was actually like something where you got like you landed on the planet, you did your thing, and then all of a sudden your team's like, kinda we like need Ra- you in the sky. Kind of like Ratchet and Clank. I don't know. I've never played those. So. Oh, that 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 has, that's in one of the Ratchet and Clank games where you fly the ship through the galaxy and you're shooting dudes as you're coming through planet to planet. Yeah, but something like like Retro, I think would handle Star Fox well. Mm-hmm. And Beyond Good and Evil too. Well, that's just a everyone wants that, but that will never happen. They it, it's apparently being worked on. It just yes. won't be available until there's a next gen console. Which is funny because they leaked shots out. Yes. Current shots, and I'm like that. Looks Does like, not look next gen at all. Yeah, like you could do that now if you wanted to. Yes, but apparently the game is so big in scope, they need a new system to get it working on. So. And that's fine. So what would be cool is to see something like have Sony reveal their console or whatever it is, and then go Beyond Good and Evil Two. Or launch, launch somehow launch title. the Wii U has enough juice in it no. to actually run it. It won't. It it has enough just to just enough to outmatch an Xbox Three Sixty. Over my, no one really knows. It has enough just to overpower an Xbox 360, I think. Some people are saying that it's better than the PS3. Doubt it. But, and then other people say it's shittier than the Wii. Like, developers keep coming left, right, center saying all these different, and you're just My like, understanding for the Wii U is that it is better than an Xbox 360 by some, but not quite as powerful as PS3. I'm waiting till Tuesday. Three. Tuesday? <laughs> I'm waiting for Monday to see what Sony does. What's so. the times on those, anyways? Uh, one's at nine and one's at six. Yay! So one's in the morning, and one's at night. Yay. And then there's Ubisoft and EA in the middle. Yay! So not even excited for Ubisoft unless they do Assassin's DLC. Creed Three. Yeah, we won't. They won't even do anything. But and a Raving Rabbit game. And they won't even do anything. B, B F G, Beyond, B G, Beyond Good and Evil, Beyond B G A E. They keep teasing it every couple of years. Everybody, yeah. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Coming out whenever a new system comes out. 
What is, did, did Sony have a new console reveal this morning? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, no. no. Did Microsoft have a new console? No. Okay, never mind then. They go before they go yep. before Microsoft. Yes, they so. do so. I think. No, Sony goes last. Or not last, middle. Middle. Sony's in the middle. So Microsoft's in the. We get to watch people flail about in the morning. I'm pretty sure because Sony's been pre- predominantly in the night. I wasn't. I all I know is ones at like nine in the morning and ones at six at night. So either way, um, with that, yes. since we've been going on for quite Done. some time, um, how long has this been? I, I it has, that clock's hasn't... chimed. It's gonna go for a third one. So oh boy, well, um, the third one's just yeah, go. Uh, is it for now? Yes, next week. Uh, not not your regularly scheduled programming, at all. Uh, short of like a review, you too. It the review is written for Tuesday. That's nice. So that's done. Um, I'll see if I can find some hump day humor type stuff just to throw up. And a question on Monday will be something along the lines of, Word. Are you watching E3 this week? It should be something really dumb. I can also do that. Well, let's do something really dumb. Like, did you mow your lawn? Yeah, something dumb. <laughs> did you go swimming today? So, I want to go like swimming. That. Uh, okay. There's a pool right over there. There would be. Um, <laughs> so, Monday, Tuesday, we will be... I guess live blogging again. Yeah, we'll figure something. Live I, 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 tweeting. Um, we can I really, tweet. I don't. Yeah, live tweeting, but I just all that hassle to get the, the speak it live or whatever it was. I don't remember so, what we used last year. We, I remember like, you cover it live was what we used last year. It worked okay, it, and it's still saved on there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's the best part is we can actually type live and then save it. Yeah. I guess that's the saving grace of it. This is not, it's not quite an elegant system. No, but it works. <laughs> it's like our website. No, our website works way better than that. That's true. Uh, so. Maybe we'll find something over, we'll figure something. Yeah, we'll, we'll. I'll find something. We'll search. Either way, uh, live blogging, live tweeting, because that's easy enough to do. Because that's only, uh, yeah. OMG. Actually, that'd be easier on a laptop, because I have a full-size keyboard. Yes. But I mean, like. Tweeting takes five seconds. So live tweeting, live blogging, uh, newscasts on the Monday and Tuesday or Tuesday and Wednesday instead of your regular Saturday. Yes. And your Saturday will just be one big post of everything we did during the week that was E3 related. We should do that. We should do that. So. There's got to be a, a video game related six movie out there that I can just review. Six. So, and because most of the news is going to come out of E3, yes. Monday and Tuesday. Everything's, anything else that comes out will be dwarfed. And everything else is just minor little extra details, or, which we can report during the week, but it's not going to be huge. So, yeah. so our newscast is we're going to have two, two, two of them, right? Eh? Yeah. Two in one week. Oh boy! Double feature. Double, double rainbow. Yeah. Um. So the first one's probably going to be Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft. I'm guessing, and then we'll connect Sony and Nintendos together. Because um, by the time we get. Everything edited. We'll figure, st- we'll figure it out. Either way, it'll be so friggin' long. YouTube's next, gonna, YouTube's gonna hate us. Yes. Next week is E A or E three E three two thousand twelve. Two thousand twelve. So soon. That's so, soon. It is soon. So uh, check us out next soon. week. Bye. Love us. I am. Um, it's time for bed now. You're gonna so. cream yourself. Yes. <laughs> Bye, folks. <laughs>